Jean Rush and she Sorry for the problems. I am I'm chilling. Epic dog moment. Okay. So we can pick up a bit more of this. And beyond that, I think should want to go here and fight that boss again. So I can get more whistles. Also, I should run the talent domain a few times for the sake of getting books for Kinich. Most of we're chilling. I can use this in talent domain actually, so I might. Mm, but first, we should switch to the Huta team. Okay. Need to put Saxor back on Xingqiao. Not using Kaze here right now for anything, so. Yeah. Kachina, I think, can also take. Defense Goblet, maybe. That said, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna put into getting artifacts for her when Sheelan is also on the horizon. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the boss is back. That's good. But, I should probably go take this Yunka Sword down. Okay. That was alright enough then. We'll move away. I like that they have similar sounds to our sounds when we use the ability. Okay. Well. Hello! I'm gonna take the artifacts back from D. Uh, right, right, right. It's full HP, cannot equip during combat, and. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to kill this Yuka Sword. Alright. How sad. And... Good damage. Okay. Wah wah. Wah wah. Okay. That's right, we're gonna put... The Tenacity set back on Zhongli. To fight this local legend again. Well, it... That's what happens. The world is a dangerous place. Okay. Shelf with energy issues and also just be a better shield in general. Power of shield button Zhongli. Okay. And right, tenacity flower. Okay. Okay. Just like this. And no other. Oh well. And just like that. And we did. Get that hit in, and this should be very, very good here. Come on, come on up. Ooh, wait, where are you? Please. Where are you going? Okay, well, whatever. And I... Uh, take that, and... Mm, come on. And... Take that down, and... question is, when are you going to throw out your funny... Cryo grenade. Come on. And it is just really, really funny to me that the achievement description incorrectly describes her as a. Oh, well. Oh, that was dumb. That said. Uh, never mind. Uh, okay. We need to try that again. Uh, okay. Well, whatever. Come on, come on. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Luckily, that's actually not that hard to dodge. Oh, please. Hmm. Really cool fight. But the fact that the achievements incorrectly refer to Sappho as a he, given that Sappho is basically the most famous lesbian in history. Okay. Go over here. It is kind of hilarious that Xingqiao has some healing capacity. Well, I'm glad that you know that. Someone has to. Okay. 
Thank you. Is this done? Um, well, I guess we miss. Not beating the allegations. And... Oh, what? Huh? Whatever. It's not expecting that to just straight up kill. I... Hmm. Uh, Huto actually getting tapped was not what I expected. Okay. So we gotta get some particles for Yelan and Xingqiao at least. Don't worry, I'm over. Oh, that's right. We get a few fates now. Yeah. Oh, and write another crown of insight this month. What what are you what are you referring to? What are you trying to refer to? Well, we got five more rolls on standard. That'll put me at Oh, that does that normally? Normally takes it off? Didn't know that. Okay. Let's take me to thirty nine bidding. No, I mean, what you said there. Okay, 39. Be nice to get gold here. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it just does that for Italians or something. Wouldn't surprise me. Okay, okay. Anything? No, nothing. But closer and closer to pitting. Meh. Okay. Among other things, do our best to make sure that Huta has enough health for passive to be active. Things get started here. I. Okay. Hmm. Throw glands. Okay. Okay. So here we are. Right around the spot. Yahoo. Say that because of Puto. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, whatever. Alright. Hit and hit. Fair enough. Kuta Respector. Oh, please. What? Whoa. Oh, come on. Come on. Ah. Uh, that did, in fact, break it. Come on. We need hit and hit. Okay, and. Funky mm. attack. Did that. I'm not even sure she used the cry out there. Well, whatever. And. Cool. Alright. Just need a few more rotations of all this. Alright, and... Come on. Mm. See how this works. It's a fun fight, but it's very tough. I okay. Uh, especially because of the stamina management you have to do here. Uh, hit, and... There we go, we broke that successfully. Okay. Cool. And... Like that, and one, and two. Okay. Damage res is really nice to have here. Okay. Come on. And one more. Okay, cool. When are you gonna. Ooh. Okay. And. Yeah! The music in. Not one is very nice, I will say. Not having Shinja there is not going to help. Come on. Okay, okay. Weird rotation. Mm. They're putting that capsule down. Definitely did not hurt, help things. Uh, here we are. Okay. And take that. Oh, wait. How did I. Okay. Come on. It's, it's good. It's real good. And. Uh, 
gonna run out of duration, aren't we? I bet we're gonna run out of duration. Oh, not good. Oh, come on. Come on. No! Wrong, wrong one. Wrong one. Oh, please. What in the... Ah. Luckily, we only need the one where I don't get hit by the attacks. Not the one where none of them detonate, but... It's annoying. It's... A very tough fight. And we totally whip. Completely whip. Uh, come on. Come on. And there we are. Threw it down, even though it hit me. And wait, huh? Didn't get the achievement? I don't imagine. I didn't get hit by the shattering ice attack. So that's weird. Whatever. Hit it here. Huh. It. I don't imagine. Maybe you just have to avoid getting frozen altogether? That really doesn't make sense. But. It's going to be much more stringent. What happened is the game lied to me. That there was clearly another condition there that it just didn't bother telling me about. Which is rather infuriating. Well, okay. So we got some whistles out of that. It's worse than that. It's far worse. Okay, and I believe it's... Kinich needs kindling. You need honey impact. Yeah, he wants kindling. So we're gonna go for kindling. Well, I played it before it got debuffed. The main thing about it is that people didn't understand that you actually had to dodge instead of just using a shield. And of course it was hard too, but there are a lot of people who just did not understand that. That was a big part of why things were the way they were. Okay. That down, and you know, we're gonna use Milani. Come on. Fight. Ooh, good damage. Mm -hmm. I need some healing here though. Okay. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Like, Ku Tower? I don't quite understand what you mean by that. But this is quite good. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. Now this. You just form this with Milani. Okay. Hmm. So, that Kings. It's a good amount. Okay. Also, I need to get some of the fire flowers in order to get Kinichi's stuff ready, too. Ah, yeah. Fair. And try this out. And it's two, three, right. One, two, three, right. One, two, three, right. One. Okay. So that was it, I suppose. Okay. Well, you cry a lot, for better or worse. You know, no, no hate, no hate man. And, come on. This is blast. And, oh, well, we kind of whipped. Oh, well. Mm -mm. I mean, there, there's nothing wrong with it, but... Is that not an accurate diagnosis of the situation? Something can be a lot and still the right amount. If your life is one that makes you cry a lot, then presumably it's appropriate for that life. It can still be a lot. Okay. Well, thank you for manipulating me. 
I needed that. One, two, three, right, one, uh, missing the curve is not good. One, two, three, right, and there we go. That's about as many as we can manage most of the time. Okay, cool. One, two, three, right, one, two, right, one, two, three, right, and vaporize that, please. We got close. Nice. Come on. Oh, okay. Right. Two, three, and there we go. She? She's so strong. It's crazy. Okay. But it's interesting thinking right now, and the wiki says, though, I genuinely do not know where they're getting this info from. That Masters of the Night Wind, who I believe are actually in the Southwest Volcano, are the Cryo Tribe. And that the Flower Feather Clan is going to be the weird one. Because they're going to be Parosaurian with. But they're the Animo Tribe. That's what the wiki says. Which is interesting. Okay, but what it does mean is that. It might draw into question what previous material has said about Ororon being an animal character. Well, the tribes of not one. Oh, come on. What? Do not, do not kill her. Please. But, the question is... Character is too full and cannot manage another bite. Great! Just what I like to hear. And, oh, goodness. Awesome. Please do not kill Milani. And... Oh, huh. I, oh, please. Then we can just toss a few more hits. Oh, the Animo Tribe in Notlon. The Animo Tribe in Notlon is... The only one with a mismatched Saurian. Because apparently it has... The Kukasaur is the Flower Feather Tribe's one. But the Flower Feather Tribe is apparently... The Animo Tribe. And all the others have matched... Saurians to their own elements, and there is no Pyro Tribe. There is no Pyro Tribe, it's just that the Animo Tribe has the Pyro Saurian, and there is no Animo Saurian. Though, presumably, the Kukasaur kind of is the Animo Saurian by way of being able to fly, maybe. Who knows at this point. Okay, and finish down. It's interesting to think about, too. Yeah, but. I, I like it that way. And right. Keeps things nice and distinctive. Come on. And put that there and get back. She's just so good at taking these guys out. But you need to be able to actually hit. Uh, uh. Let's go for the missile. It's so strong. She's so strong. Okay. Especially in her niche. It's... I understand why they had to nerf her. Because they nerfed her and she's still really, really good. But... If they had kept her unchanged from beta, she would have unambiguously power prepped Nuviet. To the point that Nuviet would really no longer have any use cases. But... I think it, it is interesting to think about the way the characters were sort of allotted and made. Because, gen generally speaking, the sort of Faustian bargain, quote unquote, in terms of the game's gender balance, was that there would be roughly twice as many female characters as male characters, but in exchange. The male characters would mostly all be very important to the storyline. You know, and people have said, you know, offering up their own opinions that, you know, it shows sort of the differences between taste and characters that male characters will just roll for any cute looking waifu, but the female player base needs them to actually have a personality and character relevance. 
I don't think that that's the entire story, but it's amusing. But it, it is very, very interesting, and a lot of people noted that for being a five star in the first patch of the region, Keenich was kind of irrelevant to the first Archon quest. And I guess it's possible that he's going to be more important in the end, but I honestly don't think so. And it it's interesting to see how things are changing. Well, you're you're special. Why? Because it means you won't beat the allegations. Two, three, and fight. And I guess they avoided some of that then? Oh, whatever. Come on, come on. Oh, so it didn't do any damage to me. But the AoE stayed and gave me knockout. Well... I guess the question is... If they draw, if they just dropped a random guy in the middle of a patch, and I guess maybe you could argue that South House was kind of a test of that. That's a random guy out of nowhere. Would you roll for him? You know, with no story relevance. You know, who knows? Who knows? Two, three, and mm -hmm. oh, what? We got knocked off. Out of spite? What do you mean spite? What does that even mean in this situation? Right. One, two, three. But I did not mean to hit that one. What did I- Oh, and the floater did not come to me. That's what's really annoying about Milani's kit sometimes. Is that whether she gets off one or two big bites is dependent on whether the floaters actually come to you or not. Sometimes the enemies block them. Okay. Well, I suppose the, the idea that people have is that the male care, the male player base kind of has a shut up and eat your slop attitude towards new characters targeted towards them. Though, like I said, I think some of that also just comes from the fact that more of them come out. And the game arguably is maybe tailored more towards them. Oh, oh. I didn't know you started when he first dropped. That's funny. How, by just flying up high where you couldn't reach? That's funny. And... And... Go for the funny shark and... Oh, goodness. Can I... Fly... Two, three... Fly... One, two... Two, three... Fight and oh come on. The fact that she can't dodge while that's going on is a little annoying. There we go. But it's so fast too. She doesn't even really really have a team built to support her. She's just that good. Oh okay. That's amusing. Okay. Well, go for this, put this down, and Milani moment. Come on, and oh goodness. Fight, one, two, three, fight, and. Oh, this hit both? Hit both, and. Yeah, it hit both. That was crazy fast. They've a they actually changed things this patch so that. Every statue can give you stamina upgrades all the way to the normal maximum. Not just Mondstadt and Leeway. So that makes it easier to get your stamina up in a number of ways. Because it also just means you don't need as many Oculi period. Because you can just do a bunch of war level ones. Yeah, that's why I stopped letting people into my world. Because people were going off and trying to progress things in my place and I just could not stand that yeah okay so we should condense some of that well 
craft some of his talent books up for Kinich in the future. The big thing is that we know four of the six heroes of the tribes. It's Kinich, Milani, Shilanen, and Yansan. So the question is, because one is presumably going to just be Chaska, whether the final hero is going to be Oron or Satwali. Because, quite frankly, having two two of the six heroes be male and four of them be female would be normal because that's basically the game's gender ratio of just released characters. But if it was just five chicks and one keen each, I feel like that would kind of confirm people's suspicions that the game is sort of trying to shift and sort of gradually phase out having male characters at all, besides maybe just a couple per patch cycle. Because that's what... That's what Punishing Grey Raven did. Oh. Did you ask for that, or...? I hope not. The game would be a lot less interesting. But among other things... I mentioned this before, but... Mahoyo literally invested in... Uh, come on, come on. Literally invested in paper games who make. We're making Infinity Niki and. Oh. Uh, a lot of other girl games right now, so I could see them not wanting to cannibalize their audience in the sense of you know, wanting to shift their game over in terms of audience to make space for their new investment? I don't know. I'm, I'm being a doomer, because that's what I always do, but... I don't know. It's just, I like this game. I like the fact that it has balance. And... Well... Not really. Because... Infinity Niki is... It's not a magical world game, it's an open world dress-up game. It has some very rudimentary combat that is clearly just in there because they thought we have to have combat, basically. Out of a misplaced sense of obligation. Because... Especially in the Chinese market, and I say this just as a statement of fact, not as an indictment. Oh, there, there's a lot of... I, I think just calling it unoriginality might be a bit... ...incorrect and on the nose, but... ...a lot more willingness to just unambiguously repeat what's gone before. In the sense that the big example is that one of the biggest games in the Chinese... Gaming market is called Oh uh, Valor of Kings or Honor of Kings. It's one of those two, and it's basically a League of Legends clone. But when it was first being formulated, the people who made it called it League of Kings before Riot complained. Because they kind of figured that that was sort of the name for the MOBA genre. And in, in a very similar way, and I'm sure you've heard about it, Wuthering Waves is comic levels of just copy of Genshin. So many things of it just... Oh, maybe not cynically, but very plainly just repeat what Genshin did. For example, they give you one of the single currency you need for rolls every time you look at a tutorial screen, which is something that... In the industry, literally only Genshin does besides it. It... I think... Call, calling it uninspired is a bit mean. But they're definitely rather willing to just... Yeah. Don't fix what's broken, so to speak. Wait, how did that whiff? Huh? Whatever. And... Hmm. Guess we'll let Emily take the stand. Oh, there we are. Okay. 
So there's a flower over there, which is nice. Put this lantern down and one, two, three, and oh, that actually blocks. Oh, interesting. I don't like that. Two, three. Mm. Come on, come on. Uh, guess we can keep trying to break the shield, but I. So that somehow hit. Okay, that worked decently. Uh, weird here. And we got the arrowheads and the mass. I do also need to do TCG today. Okay. So. What I will say is that it does actually impress me a good deal. Especially in light of the state of the general industry there. How Genshin Man should not just be a Breath of the Wild clone. Because when it was starting out, especially with Monsat, it very much looked like Breath of the Wild, but it very quickly became something entirely different. Quickly, a little one. Tamorius Akeori appeared to have run into some trouble. Though, to be fair, a lot of what they did, to be frank, was bringing back <laughs> aspects from older Zelda games. And to be entirely frank, in what way? There, there are a lot of ways that it would have been bad for them to end up like Tower of Fantasy. Well, Tower of Fantasy is also just a cheap cash grab game. It... It is important to note that the Chinese game industry is just very, very different. And that beyond it having a higher tolerance for just very high levels of sexualization and pandering, they, though things have changed, also very, very fond of very plain pay-to-win mechanics. We're just going to be an archaeologist too. Oh, I'm being an archaeologist, it's more than running, digging up rocks, requires a whole lot of study. But baby stories won't make fun, fun about the story. Stay to talk about once you were grown up. Bring up right now, and when growing up, the matter is your brain growing up, all kinds of stuff from you. Grow up faster, sit so yourself. That said, actually pretty sharp. What should we do? I want to be an archaeologist too. Well, it wasn't just that, it was also feet, right? You didn't do any more growing up, we're completely mature already. Didn't indeed say that, didn't lie to you either. Officially start studying, taking what courses, pre class training. Mentor be hard to train you. That's a bit much. Ray. Oh, is she? Oh, Samaro. Long for a bit. I'll pay you back. Happen to be strict. Scared. Tougher than rocks. Familiarize you with the curriculum. Also, it turned out that that game I brought up yesterday, that new Yaoi game, was just a cheap, basically standard turn-based RPG cash grab that may have been... May have AI generated dialogue apparently, according to people, which interesting. Quickly, Makiro, you're up. Introduce observation and endurance training. Our people are dangerous environments, must possess such qualities. I'll do my best. Very well then. If you're a mentor, which previous client need to do first? Observation. Oh, so this seems like achievement related training grounds. Then, probably training grounds. Keep it down. Must watch out finding this place. Try visit for training. Must be undergoing maintenance. Backups don't work. Others is metal. More sufficient for training. Quick thing is standing, look an incredible will be on the spot. That's what people are saying. I don't know too much about it, of course. Best I could do, hard enough to find a safe spot. Don't have what it takes to but all the convincing demonstration. Help us, your only hope, for all of them's sake. Don't give her good advice, let her to do, run off the trap herself. Get into crazy hijinks. Find to relax a bit. Sort sooner rather than later. Watch what I do carefully, okay. Tricky kid like this, we'll have don't blame me. Don't know what else we can do. Okay. Straight observation for all of them. And what is that going to be? Probably story and stuff? Maybe. Here, turning grounds for owning observation. Look how flat, unassuming. Explosive mechanisms buried underground. To an exercise good judgment, move too hastily. Might trigger one of them, and boom, it'll knock you and down to the ground you go. Children of Echoes use tip at least source partners. Help us excavate mechanisms while avoiding obstacles. Archaeologists must consider circumstances this training. One power observation to find and excavate them. Demonstrate how to properly dig them up. Okay, dig out the buried target mechanisms. Interesting. Oh, so it's kind of a obstacle course for Children of Echo stuff. Tom Royce, have to take tough class like this. That's a given. That's nothing. Start formally studying. Find what tough really means. Oh. And you 
Why, forgive me, have mercy, no evil intentions. Make it knock someone over at once. Never seriously injure anyone. Forgive me, have mercy. Okay, cool. And, oh, oh. Not expecting that to hit me, hit me. And, oh, is that? Serious skill, dig at the berry mechanism, no time flat, quotes aren't even messed up, probably weren't even knocked over by the explosives, but I was. Goodness, like it run someone as amazing as you, also want to try to let me need to be so hasty, reset it first, since everything's ready, bring it back here, walk through it step by step. See if Tempura is not run off you here, what's Tempura won't run off? It's a good kid, read your archaeology articles, pay attention, thank you for some true help, don't down without you, can demonstrate herself, joke about it, didn't drink it up, can be able to guarantee her safety, tell what she plans to start next dig. Oh, welcome back. Good to see you again. How are you doing? Big puppy man destroyer. Return to Samaria. Didn't hear anything. Your reward, please. Need to stand on ceremony. Just bury some grain fruit. Okay. Cetius Altius Fortius. So we did get an achievement. Oh, nice. Have you perfect training demonstration? Maybe it was because I was in night soul mode? Huh. Do you need any help farming anything? Like any of the new bosses? As I... have done pretty well. It... AR... 55 and world level... I wouldn't say world level 9 is all that much worse than world level 8. But it is a bit of a step up. The drops are real good. Getting three boss drops instead of two guaranteed is really, really, really nice. Oh, wow. So, who in particular are you interested in getting? Because Milani is a lot of fun. She's a good new Viet side grade, better in single target. People are saying that the Pyro Archon will come out in... 5.3 actually, so you probably have a good amount of time. Which is crazy to think that they're just making us wait longer and longer. Because you know, Venti, Venti was in point zero, Zhongli and Raiden were in point one, Nahida and Furina were in point two, and now we've got Mavuika apparently going to be in 5.3. So how much of that was catching up a story maybe? Hmm. Just thinking, where do I want to go? I wonder if there might be something under the temple? Beneath the mountain. Kwatapek Mountain. It's really more down the side of it than below it, I suppose. Hmm. But Moani's story quest is going to be the idea of tribal chronicles, understand custom traditions, immerse itself in them. Some of the words and woes, those are born and bred here. It tastes lovely, local cuisine, wonder popular song. True stories shared with locals, cherish memories of the passage of time. It, if you need help with any of the bosses, I would be more than happy to pop in. But it, it's just a matter of persistence, really. It's just a matter of putting in the work damn day. Which... Not everyone particularly likes, but it's nice to see incremental progress, I would say. You know, something that you can progress in over time without too much work every single day. Which one? I actually did a lot of those recently. Okay, we can get a few of those. Let's go over land. Quest starts there, but I may as well activate. Some of that first. Okay. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, okay. Cool. I can hop in real quick then. Multiple money too. Okay. Should still have befriended. I think. Okay, so I can't open these yet. Presumably I need to drain this pool. Okay. Is anyone on right now? Yeah, sure. I can hop in and help you real quick. Hmm. I think, actually... Depending on... Okay, Dia would be good here. 
So actually, what you could do maybe... Could you put a Hydro character in the party instead of Raiden? Because I think Milani could make this really, really good. Milani's really good in single target. And putting a Hydro in will help me. But importantly, do not use... Don't put her skill up. Well, it depends, but I think... Just use Dia's E skill. So we can maintain Pyro for Milani to vaporize. Okay. Thank you, and... Milani. Two, three... Bye. Mm, that's... okay. Mm, two, three... Bye. Mm, three... Oh. Mm. Oh, alright. That was an interesting idea. Didn't quite work. I need to try a bit more in the way of... Vaporizing them. Okay, well, alright. Uh, come on, come on. Uh, well, this kind of works, but yeah, I need... Uh, and we don't have any Electra in the party right now. Eh, we'll figure it out. Okay, thanks. That down, and see how much of this deals. Thanks. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness gracious. Pretty relying on actually getting that crit, but... Pretty nice. So are you running this for Dio right now? For what it's worth... Generally... Okay, so how many more runs do you want to do of this fight? Because we can just teleport out and get it to reload now. They changed things so that there was no respawn time. Okay. So as long as you reload the area, it'll come back. But... Hmm. Okay. I think in that case, I'll just put in... a Hytham and... Shinobu. Do you have any characters... I guess Mona could help for Hyper Balloons, maybe? But... I guess this could work, too. Well, this could probably work. Hmm. Figure this out. And I suppose if you had Fischl or some other oh decent hydro, that could work too. And mm, not having spread is hurting things here. That's fine. A quick burn is Pyro and Dendro and Electro just do not work well together. Okay. Well, especially with Shinobu, because she has very slow Electro application. So you can see the Quicken Aura is getting very, very... It's getting burned away very quickly. Okay. Honestly, that Milani team is one of the few things that could really work with the FDF period. Other than, I guess, maybe Linny. You could try putting Linny. Okay. Hmm. Oh, and he has the wrong weapon right now, too. Well, that's life. Okay. Try some of that. Burn it, Winnie. Yeah. Cool. Oh, okay. So you need six more runs. Fair enough. But Dia and Milani actually work well together. Because Milani does not need fast pyro application. Because her entire deal is slow big hits to actually make use of forward vaporize. Oh wait. Why does Bennett not have his burst up? But generally, when I run Dia, I run her with Fab Lance. I mean Fab Greatsword. It works well on her. Well, all right. Thank you. That uh, oh. Kazu would be good here, but that it's whatever. Come on. Uh, yeah, this. Do you have anyone you'd want to use other than Dia? Because 
I mean, Milani can work here, but... Hmm. Much to think about, and just not having any Electro in the team is not helping either. Okay. Yeah, it... It's sad to say, but... Dia's damage is, as a rule, not good. You have to use her for her other utility. Yeah, this is very slow going. I don't even think... Uh, I don't even think... Wait, Mona's burst even hit those pylons. Whatever. Oh, well, it's gonna explode now, so get out of the way. Okay. Oh, that still hit me. I was not expecting that. Okay. Mm. Oh, all right. Oh! That's right, I'm stupid. Winnie literally doesn't have any artifacts right now. Because Gaming has his March I'll Say Set. I'm stupid. Okay, whatever. Oh, well. Okay. No, I thought something was off. I'm, I'm gonna go heal up real quick. You hold down the fort. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So more shall say. Yeah, maybe I could have just used Gaming then. Eh. Hmm. And this should be actually usable. Presumably. Yeah. Heal myself up, come back with something actually usable. I really should actually just level up a Crimson Witch set for Gaming. Well, to be fair, I'd want at least one more Gaming Constellation first. Because Gaming does not actually... He needs that C4 to get his energy back, really. He isn't too good at it otherwise. Okay, well... I'll just get out of the way. We need some Electra in the party. Okay. Well, whatever. Come on, and that... That's a good deal better. Yeah, that actually works. But it... Do you have any animal on the party? Do you have anyone with Viridescent Venner? Do you have Kaza or Sucrose or someone like that? Because if so, this is very similar to the Lenny team I actually us usually run. I run Dia on that team for the sake of sustain. Okay, but do you have someone who could hold Viridescent Venner just to apply Squirrel? For the sake of getting Shred up? That's my question. Oh, well... That, that should be a priority. You should get at least one Animo character. Sucrose will work. Kaza is better than Sucrose, but Sucrose is still good. I would not recommend it. There isn't really any synergy there. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that... that'll work. And blow you up. And, yeah, that's pretty darn good. Come on, then. And for a few more hits. Well, the question is, is this all you have? Okay. Well, I'll just take it down for you. But I really wonder what teams I could actually run with what's available to us right now. And, oh goodness, that's not good. That's really not good. Thanks. Uh, and no, they're big hit. And what? Okay. Huh? Okay. It's okay. If if it weren't like this, you wouldn't exactly need help. 
You know, this, this is why... Well, it... Because I want to help people out, but I also just... I want to do it as quickly as possible, so that everyone involved has more time for other things, too. When is decent, but... Who should I put with Milani, then? Honestly, Zhang Li Milani could work. That would be fine. I think Milani is a good option here, actually. I can stick with that Dia, then. So normally the team you'd run with... Well, actually... The team you'd normally run with Milani would probably be... Dia... Nahida... Then her and... Can't think of the fourth option. Hmm. Oh, so you need a shielder? Mana would actually be fine here. Maybe for the HP buff. Eh, it is what it is. Can help. Nahida can sustain the burning. Okay. Alright then. Thanks. And there we go. Cool. And, uh. Having some trouble getting that going then. Okay, and. Two, three. Try. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, because the burning is not staying? Oh, it's probably because of the. Crystal eyes. Oh, yeah, that that's not good. Uh. Hmm. Well, alright. Hmm. What is getting hit then? Right, that and weird amount of damage being done, or I guess not being done. Uh, but just don't even know what Milani teams actually I don't even want to use Dia and Hida, but Sense that. Hmm. Uh, I don't think Noel would actually help here. Because she is destroying some of the Pyro Aura. A bit of it at least. And that. Okay. Thank you for sustaining that for me. Two, three. Right. And something seems a bit wrong, maybe. Uh. This boss is either one of the worst, period, or one of the easiest, depending on how much you have stuff built. It really is a very feast or famine boss. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Two, three. Thanks. Well, it... It is purely a question of just... Whether you can DPS it down... Before it turns invisible, or if you have a good way of applying Quicken. Well, I use it as a good... Training dummy, but it's because it's... Such a strong DPS test. You can use it to... To an extent see how good your DPS is, depending on whether you can kill it before it goes invisible. Yeah, it... Especially since it's an element check. You at least need Electro most of the time. Okay. Thank you. That ends. Right. We need more of that. Right over there, and I guess it's just a matter of getting lucky or unlucky with crits. That makes sense. Okay. Well, this should maintain decent OV. Oh, huh, alright. Well, okay then. Not great. Mm. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of what I could do better here, because. I say this is a Dia fan. She's just not good. You know, or at the very least, 
She has a very specific defensive niche. She's best in slots in teams that can't really use Zhongli. Yeah. I'm not the one who decided to make her that way. She is getting a lot better, though. There are a lot of teams that actually make good use of her abilities now. Right, and it's just all about that crit lock. Okay. Big Milani damage. This is still the fastest way to do it, then. Hmm. Well, she arguably kind of is. Because she's... Unless you have a really, really silly built Zinian with high constellations and ridiculous amounts of energy recharge and a full shield bot kit, Dia is her best defensive teammate. It's not a joke. Okay. And two, three. Let's get this going. Stay inside. Two. Three, right, and blast you over there, and mm, definitely not gonna happen the right amount of time for this. And go for another, right, right, and but uh, well, if it misses, it misses. Come on. Yeah, even without an especially built team, and Milani still being relatively not skill built, and still deal. Good damage. But I'm just trying to think of what are the intended team members? Cause I know it's maybe it might be Shion in next patch actually. It's a good chance it's Shion in. Cause I know that Kinich's best team is pretty unambiguously Emily, him, Bennett, and probably Dia. You can run Jongling if you want to be silly, but Kinich is so single target focused that it's like running Zhongling with a Linny. Running Zhongling does boost that team's single target capabilities. But if you're running Linny on with single target, you know, the joke writes itself. That itself is kind of the problem. But other than that, I don't know much else about how they're run. And really? That fast? Come on. Whatever. Well, I... I'm gonna stay out of the way. Thanks. Full Night Soul Burst there, and... Okay, go ahead then. Thank you, get that burn up. Right, and... Another bite. Yep, good stuff. Okay. Hmm. Let me just look real quick, actually. Milani's best teams. Teams. Oh, you run Sucrose. Okay. That makes sense. No problem. Well, that means I was able to help you out to the extent you wanted. So, good luck with everything. Enjoy your dia. Uh, you should probably go for Milani. No problem. No, and I mean it. Nuviat is meta-defining, and he's about as good as Milani. Milani is a side grade who is a bit better in single target. Oh, from Avlika. That's fair. You would expect the Archon to be the best character in the region anyway. But, I just have a different perspective on everything, frankly. As someone who tries to go for everybody, period. Alright, so in that case, we can start that quest. Gonna auto start? Yeah, it auto starts if we're in the area. Amazing view, and we can even see some Kahoasaurs here and there. I actually can't. Hey, why don't we try to get a picture of one or two of them in the wild, or do they try to bite us? So this is basically Moani's story quest. What's interesting is that Kinich's story quest is the first two thirds of it available, but the final third won't be available until he actually gets released. And similarly, you can do two out of three of the Children of Echoes one, 
But the final part won't be available until Shionen comes out next patch. So Q probably won't do that right. Oh, what's happening over there? Oh, something's getting attacked. Nice! They definitely look a little like humpback whales. Oh, nice! So you should be able to get close to... There are going to be a lot this patch because of anniversaries things. So you should be able to have enough in three more patches after this one to get Mavuika, I would say. The question is just what Mavuika's kit ends up being like. I would imagine it's going to be basically turning people into not one characters for the sake of Night Soul, maybe. Someone help us? Kohol Swords are actually fighting people. If ever save the game again, pictures will have to wait. Still in trouble, legendary travel, and trusty Pama will not stand by idly. Okay. Where the strings return to Act 1. I was searching for the mysterious island. Alright, defeat the Koholasaurs. I think... This, not this team, this is what I used to beat a local legend last night. This is the team that I've been using for exploration here. Should be fine enough. My question is... Yeah! And of course the long-term goal is Imaginarium Theater. I really do like Imaginarium Theater. It is not newbie friendly, but it's not supposed to be. And that, it's kind of sad I suppose, but... It gives you a chance and a reason to use a lot of characters you otherwise would not use. And that's the purpose of it. Oh wait. Get back. No panic, just hang in there. Mm, someone's coming, please help us. Well, they're not moving. <laughs> right, you're right. We didn't actually switch. So there we are. We'll apply pyro to everybody. And... Well, the funniest thing is that you could actually just indwell them all really quickly. In order to get them all neutralized. You wouldn't get any drops. So be I'm not sure if you get any drops here anyway. Well, whatever. Not corking me. Oh, it all just knocked them into the water. It's actually more fun. And okay, they aren't dropping anything in. It might just be me, but they feel a little weaker. Huh. Virgin. And. Oh, it's out of range? Huh. Whatever. One, two, three, five. There we go. Cool. Defeated Kaholasaurus, scatter and run away. Judging from your clothes, you must be scholars from Samara, right? Oh yeah, actually, yeah. I saw Kari and this is my senior of the Ramdra. Thank you so much for saving us, that was a little too close. I mentioned handling these sort of things is practically sex nature to us by now. Pamas Pama, this is Agon. Oh, nice! What did you think about it? Who do you think the remaining heroes are going to be? Still, it seems like all the Kaholasaurus just ran off. Capture at least one alive. Capture one alive. What do you think about it in comparison to the previous ones? Perhaps I can see you're very skilled at dealing with them. If you use me as live bait to help us capture one, I will pay you for the effort. Well, apologies for Ramdra's been hyper focused on his research, so please don't be too hard on him. Be it Ramdra Senpai. Oh no worries, body to approach a whole group of wild Kaholasaurus and this talk about capturing them. Tell me you want to get a picture with them too. Hamon's pretty sure that's not what they're trying to do. Sure, we must look very silly. The fact of the matter is that we're searching for a mysterious island from a certain legend. It's said that a very important clue about the island can be found on Kaholasaurus, so approaching them without the help of a guide from the people of the springs was certainly an unwise choice on our part. A mysterious island. Shimpi no Shima. More of a sort of divine mystery, mysterious island. Shinti. No, because just secret would be more like Himitsu. There's a legend from the people of the springs that mentions a mysterious island, and Biramja believes the key to his research can be found there. Are you sure you two would consider my proposal to capture one? Some proposal? Interesting. I. Personally, I'd say my favorite is either Fontaine or Samaru. I think Fontaine had the best everything except the ending, and Samara had the best ending. Because Fontaine's ending was a little contrived. The very least with the whale. The whale was very out of nowhere, and honestly kind of nonsensical in a lot of ways. 
A lot of it just has to do with the fact that the game hasn't really cleared up how it approaches prophecy and fate and its lore all that much yet. So it's sort of, sort of oh yeah, Celestia sentences Fontaine to death, and the way that happens is a more or less unrelated abyssal creature attacking Fontaine. It's kind of contrived. It, I think it would have made a lot more sense if we'd fought a Celestial Envoy or something as the boss there. Had to basically stop the prophecy firsthand. Though some leaks have suggested that We'll fight a Celestial Envoy as a weekly boss in Notwan, at least for the first or second. And I think they wanted to save that for later because it was... You know, it's a bit of a crazy reveal to just have you fighting. You would know, be able to even see what a Celestial enemy would look like. Those on the way would be willing to use a person as live bait. Suppose discussing any further will just be a waste of time. I'll just come up with another solution. Varamdra. What do you think about Capitano? Some people say he's probably the weakest dad. Right, you should rescue Kari. I just now, and I suppose I should express some gratitude. Thank you very much. A little awkward, but my mom will take it. Should move on, Kari. Hmm. Thank you again. My apologies, Veronica really doesn't have the best people skills. It's all right. Bye now, Mishinari. <laughs> is That was a long pause. You don't really see her adventures like those two every day. But anyway, Pom was really curious about the mysterious island that lady just mentioned. Gonna find the island too, Pamon. Who knows, there might be treasure. Disgusting. Oh, oh, interesting. Chi Chi? I would say you should try to get Fiorina eventually. Because Chi Chi's only real utility is healing. Which isn't necessarily such a bad thing. If you don't have any other sources of hard defense or sustain. But the best way to use healing is, frankly, on a Fiorina team. Because it can convert a lot of that healing into damage. An amazing place to explore during adventures. Finding some mysterious island should be a walk in the park for us. Do you have any info about this island? Let's see. The chair can't go any higher. <laughs> Oh, you're right. The lady mentioned that Mysterious Owen is related to a wedge into the people of the springs. So maybe we can start by asking some of them about it. Time's ticking. Let's get started on our next adventure. The real question is, who should we ask? Can we just talk to the Chief Amina? It's an idea if anyone in the Chief should know the details. Okay. Who is searching for Mysterious Owen? Oh, what? Okay. Wait. Is this? Excuse me. Let me see. Spring's Return, Trouble Chronicles. After rescuing the trapped travelers, you hear them tell the legend from the people of the springs. Ventures unique curiosity that sparks drives you towards their tribe's dwellings. Legend of the Mysterious Island, an ancient legend circulates amongst the people of the springs that has attracted countless tourists before finally coming to your attention. So we can use this to get more reputation there, which is nice. Yeah, Chi Chi has a pretty crazy amount of healing. The thing about it is just, generally speaking, which in the Sirius Island, avoiding conflicts, it's new accepting unlocked chapters in focus mode. Automatically accept Chronicle Quests. Oh, that's cool. Is that oftentimes she has a lot more healing than you really need. So having HP drain from characters like. Fiorina, or maybe just not, not one, I mean, Fontaine characters who drain their own HP as part of their kit, can help that be useful. Curiosity, Evan Peak, Head of the People of the Springs, that's trouble leader, Legends Mysterious Island, yeah. Okay. So, we can get moving here. Over this way. And switch. Get on to Milani. And this is where Amina should be then, presumably. Safaboto Kasaka. We can just keep on going this way, which is crazy to think. Level of rapid transport you can get just switching between characters is nearly unmatched. And there she is! A little chieftain of the people of the spring, someone looking for me. Life is a traveler and his companion. Michachi on the son Nakama. So it brings you here. Do you need help with anything? But the big thing is that 
there are two more heroes. Because, no, like I said, we got Shionen, Kinich, Milani, and Yansan, who I hope is a five star. She's probably going to have a boxing related kit, which is going to be interesting. Especially since it was a while ago, but. Phantom Flow. Genshin. Let me check the story on that. Mention. Yeah, yeah, they mentioned shadow boxing about three versions ago in connection with Notlan. And Yansan uses a punch in that cutscene and doesn't have a weapon in the Travail trailer. Though to be fair, most of them don't have weapons in the Travail trailer. But what's interesting is that in the files, Yansan's stated weapon for a model is polearm. So it's going to be interesting to see how she actually plays when she comes out. But Chask is almost certainly the hero for the Anmo Clan. So the question is, is the Chrono Clan's hero going to be Ororo or Sitlali? I think there's a good chance it's Sitlali because she's been mentioned already, has a lot of lines in the next series of quests, next patch, according to some data mining. And also... Generally speaking, though I think some people do over-exaggerate it, the game is kind of shifting away from its male cast because it's got more competition on that front now. So they're trying to sort of silo themselves and sort of narrow in. Maybe people say that, I'm not sure. But I think given the fact that Ororon is working with Capitano, it would be more interesting if he was one of the heroes, especially since... I'm almost certain that the now on Orcon Quest will, con will conclude with whatever Capitana turns out to be. Capitana and Mavuika working together. Brings you here. Do you need help with anything? Went to visit Mysterious Island. Shinpo Mishima. Mysterious Island, huh? Um, is there something wrong? Does she just not know? Is it too dangerous? I'm assuming you two are already aware that this island is related to a legend of my people. Yeah, but now that you mention it, we don't know anything about the actual legend yet. Then allow me to explain it to you two. It is said that the first chief of the people of the springs was the most outstanding god in all of Natlan. He discovered many deserted domains and found countless treasures. But to prove himself once more, he embarked on yet another journey. In search of a legendary mysterious island, he endured many hardships along the way, but he persevered and managed to reach the destination. Yawn emits a golden light where countless treasures are buried, but instead of claiming the treasures for himself, he left behind a trail of clues that lead to the island. Holy crap, it's the One Piece! They added a laugh tale to Genshin. Since then, many people from later generations have undertaken the challenge of finding the island. After all, to find the island is to find riches and glory. Oh, that makes sense, so could you tell us how to get to that island? The answer's probably no. Mm hmm. Oh, Pamon gets it. This is a big secret for the people of the Springs, so you can't just tell anyone, right? On the contrary, it's quite the opposite. The legend and the clues needed to find the island are all already known to the public. But no one can do it. Oh, well, then what's the problem? Well, I'm going to answer a question in exchange for a favor. What do you think? Sure thing, but what do you need us to do? Then you have my thanks. Allow me to tell you some details. I'll be honest, there were some among the tribe who were a rather base character. Not long ago, I received a report that a few of them were working together to scam visitors. As the chief of the tribe, I was a very ashamed to hear of this. It's really hard to believe that could happen. They were targeting tourists who wished to visit that island. According to my sources, they would trick tourists into believing they are trustworthy guides before luring the tourists into spending a fortune for the sake of reaching the island. They run a pretty sophisticated operation. They would always claim the scammed money as some kind of legal travel expenditure, so it's hard to use that to directly convict them. So I was hoping to find someone who could approach them and pretend to get scammed. Doing so would allow us to gather the evidence required to bring them to justice. The problem is, they would certainly recognize anyone associated with me, which is why I haven't been able to carry out the plan yet. That means us. Oh, well, Paimon understands now we're the perfect bait because we're both tourists. Exactly, and as far as I know, you two are no pushovers. No matter what nefarious schemes you may come up with, you'll be perfectly capable of protecting yourselves, right? Betra, if it's just a few scammers we're talking about, he will take them all down. Mochironda, of course. Wonderful. Anshinsta, I'm not worried. Then here, take this. Please take this. It's in this bag. 
Oh, that's a lot of more. Did we already earn a bonus? Oh. There will be plenty of rewards if you manage to catch the scoundrels. It's more of offers for other purposes. Over the operation. Sure, some spending will be required on your part before they lower their guard. I certainly wouldn't expect you to pay out of your own pockets. So please use the more as needed and collect as much evidence as possible. No wonder you're the chief. Seems like you've already thought of everything. Okay, we'll take it from here. I've marked the location of the scammers on your map, and we've arrested you too. Okay, then. Legend of the Mysterious Island started. So Amina's over here doesn't leave any location to lure the scammer out. Amina's coin pouch, a coin pouch that Amina gave you inside her funds to deal with scams. Please remember, we need concrete evidence. I'm counting on you. And they're just up top over that way. So I wonder who they are. It'd be really funny if they were the people from the Archon Quest. Though I don't imagine it would be. Hmm. So we got a couple of dudes around. Some people who may not be from that one. Maybe. They don't look like they're from that one, actually, on second thought. Some of them look like they're from other tribes, though. It's in the coloration, maybe. Should be the place. Now let's see if anyone around here looks like a scammer. Come on, don't be so loud. All right, we should pretend we are innocent tourists with no idea about what's going on. But how should we lure the scammers out? We'll try talking about the mysterious island. Idea speaking of which puns, dying to know what kind of treasures could be buried on mysterious island. Wonder if anyone's ever really seen them before. Ah, um, yep. It's this guy with a funny hat. Yeah, if you have a funny hat, it means you're evil, then. Kalu? How are you two visitors from afar looking to visit mysterious islands? Who the? It looks like I managed to wear them out already. Palmon, don't forget our rules. No pardon is something to matter. <laughs> Need. Second. I gotta adjust the camera. Yeah, I gotta put it down a little so it doesn't look like I've always got my eyes closed. That's good. The angling is a little tough with the new model, frankly. Pardon is something to matter. What's happened over here? You're talking about mysterious island? I assume you two must be tourists brought here by the legend of the island, am I wrong? Pam, what's Pam? This is the traveler. That's right, we're just getting ready to look to the island from the legend. That case is a qualified goddess. Certainly cannot allow you to embark on such a dangerous journey. Huh? So legend says, if you manage to reach a mysterious island, riches and glory will be yours for the taking. Shavros is good, but... She's not as good as Bennett in most cases, unless you're running a Spyro Electro team specifically. She doesn't have to deal with Circle Impact, which is nice, but she has her limitations. She's a Bennett side grade in specific teams. She's really, really good on a specific team that I like running, which is Arlequino, Chevros, Yai, and Fischl. Because she can boost and shred both Pyro and Electro, meaning that Fischl and Yai's damage contributions become a lot more useful there. But she also just can be tough to make work at times, I would say. It says, can manage to reach a mysterious island, which is glorious, yours for the taking. Be that as it may, the journey to the island is full of untold perils and dangers. It would be not impossible for any average person to reach the island. But you are in luck, allow me to tell you the purpose of our services. So it happens that our mission is going to help visitors avoid danger, on shortcuts, and successfully reach their destination. Oh, so this is all a pitch for your services. Please, there's no need to worry. This is just one point I had to make perfectly clear. Although the legend of the clues to find the island are known to everyone, the leads left behind by our ancestors are as enigmatic as riddles found on a lost treasure map. And the gods bestowed with the legacy of our ancestors can correctly decipher the clues. Tourists who rashly embark on their own often wind up lost and encounter unnecessary dangers. Oh, he actually sounds pretty convincing. But it seems like fate has brought us together, so what's you to have me as your guide? Well, so how much will you charge us? We're going to do another haggling minigame. Not to worry, I don't intend to charge any fees. So be working for free. 
First people, the Springs God and Gets the Mysterious Ode is a great honor in and of itself, worth more than any amount of Mora. Spirit Pummel almost wants to believe him, so it's still part of his sales pitch, we need to see what he actually wants to do. Alright, thank you, then please guide us onward. Of course, please follow me. Uh oh. We're gonna end up getting robbed along the way or something. Hmm. Follow the scammer guide. Curiosity of and Peak decided to have the people of Springs its trouble leader about the legends, yeah. It this is an incredibly obscure American niche culture thing. But I remember some years ago. There was this big controversy surrounding this American woman named Caroline Calloway. Who was this woman who attempt who basically went to Harvard as a sort of older adult student and tried to do influencer stuff all about her experience living in Britain as an American and got hired to make a book and just never did it and people just got really furious at her for literally being an actual scammer and she ended up trying to use that as oh cola source photo op opportunity trying to basically rebrand herself as a scammer, sarcastically, to sort of try to get in the spotlight again, and of course it didn't work. But people got really m even more mad at her the second time, and ended up finding Airbnb reviews of her as a tenant, as a guest, and it turned out she peed in somebody's teapot once. I don't know why that came to mind. Well, it's because they mentioned scammers. So basically, if you ever stay in someone's Airbnb, don't pee in their teapots, I ho oh, are you two here to take pictures with the Kaholasaurs? Really can we? Oh, so it's just a matter of just bringing them through a bunch of tourist trap things. Really can we? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, you two must be here to seek insight from Anta, all right. Is that the Kaholasaur? Anta, insight. Not so loud. Oh, we say no name in such a matter only cause them to loathe you. You make me too. I apologize for not explaining earlier. As you can see, Anta is the elder Gaholasaur my senior here is responsible to serve. Anta is high respected among the tribe and is far more knowledgeable than other Gaholasaurs. So that Anta has actually visited the mysterious island before. I can't be true. Why must we want Anta's insight to know how to get there? Really, but how do we do that? Can a Gaholasaur elder talk? Probably take a picture. You need to only solely approach Ata, and once Ata has confirmed your scent, they will provide their wise insight in the language of the Kaholasaurus, of course. But no need to worry, the ability to interpret this language is one of the basic skills required of a guide from the people of the springs. And I believe that if I inhabit it, the Kaholasaur could actually talk to it. If you understand Ata's instructions, it will lead you on the journey ahead. Alright, then let's give it a try. If they meet the Kure, then that will be 10,000 more per person, this is where the scam starts. Huh? Ah, in order for Anta to give us insight, we must recall their past, which should be extremely taxing. For a whole sword, cost to maintain their health can be quite high, you know. Sorry, such expenses may arise in the process of finding our way, but as long as we've reached the mysterious island, these costs will be quite trivial in the end. There you have it, Pama knew there was no such thing as a fruit lunch. Well, we're not eating lunch anyway. This payoff, let's not make suspicious, should also help us gather evidence. Oh, Pamon has an idea. She bets they've just made up all that stuff about the talking holosaur. If we can get a receipt, that'll be proof that they're scamming tourists. That kind of evidence, there'll be no doubt that they're guilty. It's taken them so long. Well, what do you say? And throw in a group photo of you two with Anta, you won't ever find. Another deal like this. Lucky? It's an unexpected bonus. Quick, let's pay the man. For the photo up, whatever makes you happy, Pamon. Okay, so try to get closer to Anta and take a photo together. Remember, approach them slow, you don't want to scare Anta. Don't worry, I'll help interpret Anta's insights. Oh, goodness. Guess we could. Bring out Milani. She's new. Okay. Investigate, Tater, Cabbage. Okay, but I don't see any Kaholasaurs around here and. Can't talk any, but just automatically puts you into the cutscene when you get close. Well, Otto really didn't try to bot us at all. Cute. You can also pose now if you'd like a photo together. Okay. 
Cure. Oh, that's a funny pose. One little companion creature with another. Then we get a roar. Oh, oh! The best way to start it is... It's a little bit southwest of Gondarvaville. Also, I think you should be able to look in your adventures journal. And it should say complete a story, a world quest in a given area. And it should have Arnyaka on it. It's a noise, but it's hard to tell the meaning. Oh, aunt is already speaking. Let me listen to what they have to say. Oh, I see. More money needed? Could you really get anything from that noise? Of course, like I said, only a god like me can understand their language. So aunt has instructions and proceed to the next area. There's a group photo. I even packaged it up for free. A chance we get a receipt for that. No problem at all. Aranyaka. That's the name. Ramano, here we go. Hee hee. Please come with me. The two of you. Still a lot of the chief's more to use. Let me keep the act and gather some more evidence. Good idea. Ah, Pamut's curious what other tricks these scammers are using. Under Kelly's guidance, you obtained one clue after another by forking over more left and right. What about middle? These guys are going way too far. He keeps coming with some far-fetched regions to make us pay for everything. What about Sir-fetched? The evolution. With all the evidence we have now, we could bring him straight to the chief and he'd definitely be convicted. But after handing over all that more, upon him kind of wants to see if he'll actually take us to the island or not. We're in to gather some more evidence. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, okay, well... I can show you the spot on the map where you can trigger it in a second. Sorry to keep you waiting after all the clues we've gathered. That should find a shortcut to the island. All right, now let's get going. Hmm. Well, the direction of the designated location. Oh, we still got some quest items. That's cute. It's Kamui's recommended edition expedition equipment. You can start Aranyaka around here. It's this crossroads, more or less. You'll find a character who is fighting some fungi. She should require some rescue. You can start the entire quest line there. It's a real long, though. I'll say that. It's fun, but it takes a while. Hmm. How many of the fire flowers? I need one more there. Yeah, you don't you don't have to do it all at once, and you unlock si the sigil tree relatively quickly. I'd say, not incredibly, but relatively. Kolu's recommended expedition equipment. Expedition equipment that Kolu recommended you purchase. Though very expensive, the glowing doesn't seem to be as good as he made it out to be. Scammer. Photo with Ata. A photo with Ata. The whole source elder. Paimon seems to love it. That's cute. Shimmy can't actually look at the thing. Apples and. It's over there. Okay. Switch to Kachina and. Ride over land a little. Thank you, and. Guess Milani would work too now. Sure. So, actually, objective in this area. So, just the other side here. Okay. Thank you. So nice to be able to surf here. This is the spot the trails are somewhat will guide the way. To cross the rushing water in the light of the setting sun shall reveal everything. On his insights have already pointed us to the destination, it's just on the opposite bank. We were almost there, huh? There wasn't even anything exciting about this journey. As I said before, this is a shortcut. I took you on some arduous path after all the more you spent. It wouldn't make me look like a good guy, don't you think? Anyway, there's no time to lose me to get there before sunset. So silly. Reach the quote-unquote mysterious island. Emphasis on quote-unquote. Okay. Can keep on moving. We'll get some crystals. We should go a little in water. Kind of wait a little, which is nice. Thank you, and... Here we are. Oh, now we have this fake treasure, basically. Some glowing rocks. According to Ata's insights, this is the place we're here. Oh, you mean the mysterious islands? Yes, I've weirded you to the island just as I promised. It means it's time for me to say goodbye. Hold on, are you serious? It's supposed to be the island. And what about the treasure? These wooden suns and artificial lights. Then we can tell it's fake. Oh, okay. 
Well, they don't really reveal it's Aranyak until you actually meet the Aranara, more or less. It's a fun one. I, in a lot of ways, I would say it approximates a lot of the feel of one of the old Zelda games. Also, it was revealed today that the new Zelda game coming out in three or so short weeks is going to have its hard mode available at the start of the game. So I'll be doing that. Because normally when they've got a hard mode, you need to beat the game first. What about the treasure? Look at these wooden lights, suns, and artificial lights. Even we can tell it's fake. All that stuff about treasure is just part of the legend. I didn't make any promises about what he finds. Who says a mysterious island can't look like this? Mm -hmm. Well, fair enough. Hmm, since you seem to drop the act, then there's need for us to continue either. Well, you could use Dendro Traveler. That's the secret. Dendro Traveler is actually pretty decent. Mainly just because it actually applies Dendro, but still. You were commissioned by the chief of the people to think you have evidence of your scamming activities. These receipts are scamming. Days are over. Are yeah, you sure? That's written on those receipts. See, huh? Wait, all the writing is discreet. Oh, invisible ink! Took you all this way just to buy enough time for the hand button to disappear. If you were to go back to the people you paid, you'd only find that using fake names. I'm impossible to track down. Well, usually it's fun to leave Traveler low level because Traveler sucks, but in this case... Well, I wish you the best of luck. Though... I guess it could be worth leveling up Traveler. It'd be easier to level up Traveler than Kolei, because Traveler doesn't eat boss mats. But still, you want to report me for scamming tourists and be my guest. Instead of them being falsely accused with that scattle, I'll be going now. Oh. And now he's trying to get away, let's go after him. Time for the chase. Oh? Oh! Okay, so they were here already. Fun. It's the chief. So she was trailing us, or...? What's the chief doing here? Just overheard her. I dispatch others to secretly trail you. Thanks to you, we can finally convict him of scamming people. Convict me how? They don't have any evidence against me, even as the chief. Can't just level accusations without any evidence, right? Sorry to say it, but he got us. We lost all the evidence we had. But they overheard. Oh, not to worry, let's search him first. Can't believe they're violating his Fourth Amendment rights. Oh, well. Hey, what are you doing? Keep your hands up. That's my mora. Can engage in some civil asset forfeiture? Yes, I see the mark. See how he split the mora before he went in here. The mark? What do you mean? Oh, the mora was marked. The mora that I and Pama I'm using today were provided by me with a special mark on them. You? So, there must be an explanation why the mora that should have been theirs ended up in your hands, right? There are no receipts to prove that any transactions took place, and you yourself just denied that it was a scam. So do you then take the more from them by force? Take more from others by force? It's an even more serious crime than scamming. You are uh, right, sure I admit that I coaxed them into spending a few times, but I wouldn't go as far as calling it scamming. Witnesses standing right here, you know? Son, yes, it was all a scam. Who, no wonder you're the chief of the tribe. Sar Sasuga, you said no shu. Still don't understand how so many people have been getting duped by them. You always stop and think for a moment to see through the whole thing. Well, that's probably why. He claims to be able to find a shortcut to the mysterious island, and why hasn't he just gone there? Claim the treasure for himself, I even bother guiding others there. That's a good point, speaking up, have any guides from the people in the springs ever found the treasure of the mysterious island? You can answer this question or the previous one about how to get there. The answer is actually very simple. Nope. No one knows how. There is no shortcut to the island. Most people don't even need the requirement to ever reach it. That requirement is that courage. If you don't meet the single condition, then even guides from the people of the springs, despite all of their abilities, will find it difficult to overcome the obstacles along the way. Which is exactly why, even though the clues in the serious out are open to the public, few have ever made it there. There's a requirement. What is it? The Skyway, maybe? Or, let me ask you something first, what do you think a real journey to the Mysterious Island should be like? Well, it should probably involve overcoming a lot of hardships to their companions while witnessing some breathtaking sight, uncovering a really touching story, oh, and scoring some super cool treasure at the end. What is interesting is that we've already done two little sort of secret island searches in here. I found the Far East Secret Isle in the Southeast, which was not marked on the map, which it is interesting that... They did another island not on a map like they did in Mondstadt. 
Except once you actually reach it and clear its little objectives, it actually does appear on the map. And it's also just a lot closer, too. And we also find that found those Sky Islands, which were reached by doing another little quest on some ruins. And therein lies the key point, overcoming hardships with their companions. It's said that when the first chief set out to search for the island, the ones who accompanied him were not clients or no tourists, but his closest friends. That's why Milani shows up. Hmm. The legend also mentioned that only those willing to entrust their lives to one another will be able to reach the island together. Therefore, the requirement to reach the island is journeying with your closest friends, the kind of friends you would trust with your life. So that's the key. From what I can see, you and Paimon are exactly those kinds of friends that kind of would trust each other with anything. Cute. But unfortunately, neither of your experienced guides. If you were to hire someone else, I'm afraid it could probably never place your lives in the hands of someone you met on a pure monetary basis. It's true. Which is why Milani shows up. But don't feel discouraged. I believe that this beautiful land that I call my home will not disappoint you. Whether it's remote islands or ancient ruins, I'm sure they can also provide you with plenty of exciting adventures. Let me tell you a secret. The elders once told me that beneath these very ruins lies a way to reach the sky. Oh, okay. So is that part of the quest? Because we've already done that. Or maybe somebody already discovered that. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> no matter if you two want to go adventuring elsewhere, I can also give you some suggestions. Yeah, thanks for that, but knowing us, we don't give up so easily, even when a place is supposedly impossible to visit. Oh, I can understand. I won't stop if you're still interested in visiting the island. Just recommend finding a guide first who you can trust with your lives. A guide we can trust with your lives? Who knows when we'll find something like that around here? Maybe it won't take as long as you think. Oh, we can go find Moani. It appears you've already made up your minds, then I'll be taking my leave. My assistants will pay for all your help. Thanks again. Okay, bye-bye, Matana. And that's the end of that part. And now it's time for the actual Milani section. Which I think should be a bit longer, maybe. Someone trustworthy returned to the people of the springs. The iteration from Amina as a token of appreciation for helping convict the scammer guide. That's not even half as much as a single. Condensed resin ley line for more out, but that's life. Oh, and okay. So... The signpost put down on the quote-unquote mysterious island is completely gone now, too. Alright. Turns out, someone trustworthy, it turns out that in order to reach the mysterious island, it is necessary to have a guide, one with whom mutual trust is shared. Oh, and oh, that's cool! So now that we've gotten to the final part, the character involved actually shows up. Uh-huh! I actually saw some of that, but I didn't think it'd show up a little flourish like that, because, yeah. So, Kine should be here, and I presume we she went in there. Yeah, because we don't have access to the final part of the Geo 1 dispatch. And the Dendro 1 is going to wait until Kine actually comes out. Jump up someplace high. Oh, is this another challenge? For Milani style? Oh, that's incredible. Tepake, master trainer people of the springs. Alright. There's nothing more fun than when you get behind before feeling the weightlessness of your fall. Hey there, what would you say to shrunk my warrior's challenge? Let's do this. Challenge coins, orbs of inspiration. Growing gains, jet set eddies. Increase challenge coin collection AOE, orbs of inspiration, which points if you collect purple orbs. Orbs that will transform into orange ones, collect these to score points. Set eddies, enter these, ultimate high altitude leap. Let's try this. Source, Jet Set Eddie is ultimate high altitude elite. High up challenge coins. Okay, interesting. So, use our Phlogiston. Alright, and go down. Cool. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay. Oops, oops. Yeah, we're gonna need to use our Phlogiston to stay on here. This shouldn't be too bad. Here we got a few more and orange orb. Okay. So the meter goes up as we collect coins. That's really about it. And another orb. Okay. This is simple enough. And we got a bit more Fulgisson over there. 
Thank you, and it's, it's big. Oh, and we boosted our AoE. Should be nice. It's gotta be pretty fast about this. It's really cool how they have these challenges, and well, that hurt. Okay. And how many more are... Well, not great. Come on. Nice! There we go. It's exciting. I need to be a little faster about this, then. Okay. Oh, now we're on a spirit way. Come on. So, and collect that. And... Wait, what? Oh, no. Screw that up. Come on, please. Oh, my goodness. It... It's an interesting challenge, but... You're gonna have to try that again, then. Huh. So we gotta be speedy. Oh, wow. This one might be tough. Try that again. So you gotta get a pretty high rank and get the fun chest. SS is just for fun. Don't get anything special from that. Okay. Cool. Go over. Like this. Go back and... Oh, well, I did not mean to do it like that. And we gotta retry that. Okay. Okay, I thought she would plunge instead of just botting forward. Mm -hmm. But the stuff with the liar is very, very Zelda. Especially since it ends up being useful in other parts of Samaru's map as well. And I am very excited for the next Zelda game to come out. Okay. Cool. Sure we don't take too much damage, hopefully. Collect all the coins and... Mm -mm. So actually, if I didn't stay on there, maybe... Uh, the arc isn't perfect. Okay. So some gliding is definitely needed here. That's a... Oh, what? Oh, it's time limited and pretty heavily, too. Okay. So you need to be fast. Okay. Huh. We'll get this going. I... Now this is a lot tougher than the Spirit Way one that I did before. I don't necessarily dislike that. Really, again, you've got to be kidding. Yeah, so she cannot do any plunges. Uh -huh. So I wonder how many challenges there are for each... Presumably there might be two for each dragon type here, maybe. It would make sense. The spirit ways and the jumps are the two things that Kaholosaurus can basically do, quote-unquote. And oh, they're moving around. Funky. I sort of stay up in the air then, maybe. Mm -mm. Okay. And let's try to get that in. Oh my goodness. This kind of sucks. Yeah, I... So I guess we gotta sort of stay in the middle of the apex of the jump. I've got to make sure I collect everything here. Can't accept things otherwise. Okay. Hmm. So I wonder whether seeing a pie would... Well, never mind. I uh, gotta make sure I stay in one place, maybe, but... Not dashing would be a good idea for this, I would presume. Here we will also help, I think. And let's make sure we get everything. Oh, that orb did not come with us. It's not great. Mm -hmm. Let's try that again. Let's, oh, well, the orb's gone too. I. This is interesting. I want to do this with Milani, but I would bet that the Kaholasaur actually has. A slightly wider AoE for collection because of its bigger hitbox. You know, we got Girl on a Surfboard versus a giant water dragon. Who knows, really? Okay. Go over. Jump again. And get that. Okay. And go back down. Get back. Thank you. And cool. Oh, well, alright. Uh, I. Uh, that is very annoying. And it does seem like... Fair, fair. But 
I would recommend doing all of it eventually, even if not right now. You know, I wouldn't recommend rushing it, because then you would not have fun. But in addition to just letting you get the tree, it's also just a fun quest line. At least I think it is. Other people might disagree. It's not everyone's cup of tea. Okay. There. Dash over. And we need all that. And there we are. Cool. So we need just very truly center ourselves. And Okay, so now let's... Oh, you can't heal. There's a very real chance that Mohani just bites it then. That's not good. Okay. Cool. And... Now we can run over, get the full guest in. Hopefully keep this question AoE up. Maybe. Okay. Cool. And can I? There we are. Cool. Well, that wasn't great. Not expecting to take that damage there. You know, we'll finish this off with the dragon. That's fine. Oh, because they've got a bit more air time. Got that spin, which... But in exchange, they don't have... A jump in a real way. They can't glide. Okay, so yeah, you're supposed to... <laughs> you're supposed to use the dragon for that. Its physics are much more suited. But I... I want to do it with Milani anyway. You know? You know how it is. Oh, and that gave us an Azure Obsidian Fragment, too. Well, that's fun. Okay, so some of the challenges, presumably the ones that are actually in the territory, give you fragments, too. Hmm. Let's give Moani something to eat. That'd be nice. Okay. And try that again. See if she can manage it. Let's begin! Did get everything, but... <sighs> okay. And we go off. Get in the very center. Get everything in... Oh, my... Never mind. Camera screwed me there. That was unpleasant. Okay. So, let's begin. Yep. Okay. Angelica Horses, or use... A Character from the people, the springs. Well, alright. If you say so. And it's just... Oh, come on. Try that again, then. But yeah, it... The whole source is better for this than Milani herself. Which is... Interesting. Not have expected that end. Can I... Well, I... It's gone. Now this... She has to slow down a little, actually. Use the jump too, because of how fast she is. Which, I guess it makes sense that even if she is arguably faster than the Coles, or I think, she has her own downsides. She's not better in every case. Well, I suppose it's more balanced, but still. You'd want a five star character to be a bit more universally strong, but. We're good as long as I completely center myself. That's the thing. To be very, very meticulous about how I do this. And there we are. And did we get everything? I think we got everything. I hope we got everything. We should have gotten everything. Okay, cool. Right, and we can use that to kind of break our fall, actually, which is cool. Over there, and... Come on. Didn't need to rest too much there, and... Get in the middle. I would hope we can... Yep, get those, and... Well, she took damage from that. Sad. And... Get in the middle. Jump up, and... Okay, right. Down there. Thank you. And get in the middle. This should do it. And... There we are, yeah. So we did it again with Milani. Just had to prove that to myself. It's a good thing they're replayable. Even if you only get the rewards once, which will. Of course. Okay... Turn to the people of the springs, right? Find the guide, find Milani. That's over. Right, we gotta navigate. So the new Let's go play. Hi. Well, I could always just go back there by 
Oh. Using other stuff, but it's more fun this way. I actually use the spirit spring, I believe, to go back to people the springs. Yep. Oh no, this actually takes me. No, it does take me over there. Just went on it wrong. Hmm. Okay. That's nice. So there we are. We could use that to get around the area a little faster. Replenish my full gist in and. That's the rest over there. Fun. And that ticked down a little. Sheila and Anne apparently is a good deal faster when you use her mode. Which makes sense. Five star versus four star. Okay. But what is. Maui and Monitu? Huh. Return to the people of the springs. Someone trustworthy issue Moani an invitation. Where is she? Yep. Oh, she's at her shop. Okay. The leisurely puffer. Go in there. Sorry, we don't carry any black swimming floaters here. She's got one of her surfboards out there, too. But why black floaters look really cool? Is that a tanned monster guy? Hmm, they asked whether we had some bad luck lately. Oh, well, yeah, sort of. The last pair of black photos I bought ended up getting bitten by a Kahola store. Yeah, we drowned, which is why I went to buy some new ones. Well, I knew it. I specifically asked an esper. The masters of the night went about this once. Black floaters bring bad luck. Really? I also have you by any chance to become a mosquito magnet or found yourself overheating? Maybe you suffer a little heat stroke. Yeah, that's exactly how I've been feeling. It's all starting to make sense now. In that case, I'd recommend either pink or blue swimming floaters, according to the experts. Bright colors can not only lift your mood, but also improve good luck, so that's why she has it. Colors are on her puffers. Or even after you discount a few like, to see it as a way of celebrating your life, taking a turn for the better. You'd really do that? Then I'll take one of each. You got it. Shopkeeper. She is kind of now on you, Amia. Well, hello there, if it isn't the Traveler in Paimon. It's been a while, Milani. It's been a day. Good to see you again. Is all that stuff you were saying just now really true? Do pink and blue floaters really bring good luck? Of course, I know a friend who nearly drowned once, but because she was running blue floaters, a group of Kahola stores came to the rescue and brought her back to shore. Whoa, for real. Well, let's get back to why we're here. Are you looking to buy some water sports products? Marine goods. Marine goods. Come on, don't be strangers now. I can give you whatever you need. You were guests here after all. It's only natural for me to give some gifts to you. No, no, we actually came here to ask you to be our guide. Well, you've come to the right person, so where do you want to go? I want to visit the mysterious island from the legend. A trip to the mysterious island. Hmm. Do you have any concerns? I assume you're already aware of how difficult the trip will be, right? Yep, your chief has already made that pretty clear. But with our adventuring experience and with you as our guide, we'll definitely be able to reach the mysterious island. Then I'll have to explain some things to you first. I learned all my skills as a guide from Uncle Nu, and he's the best guide in the whole tribe, but apparently even he has never successfully reached the island. The good guide to the way, a journey should usually be fun and pleasant. However, going to the mysterious island is different, and I don't know if I can guarantee you that. Hmm. Okay, I need a... the eyes are... acting up. Let me see. I'm wondering how I could... Maybe I would need to find a way to put the camera under the computer instead of on top. Honestly. This needs to do eye tracking and... If I could mount it on the side, maybe, that might actually be ideal. But I'd need to figure out a stand for it or something. That's the thing. Hmm. What to think about? Silly problem to have, really, but it's life. Looking over there, I... I mean, this should be okay, maybe. 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 Yeah, I guess. Okay, let's keep going. 
Good God, and we the way. A journey should usually be fun and pleasant. However, going to see yourself is different. I don't know if I can guarantee that. But since it's you two asking, I definitely won't refuse. Just my duty as a guide to explain these things before I officially agree to go on the journey. I'm on thought that this would be a piece of cake fruit, but it seems like we're actually asking a lot. I'm not to feel really guilty to make a friend go through a bunch of trouble just for the sake of finding some treasure. Yeah, that's not ideal. Oh, Milani. Oh, what's the word? Sekato. Suya, so, yeah, come on, what are you waiting for? Cool, wow. He's got back to the tribe. I've heard he found another underground ruin full of treasure. Oh, interesting. So has he found it already? Or... Koa's back? Wait for me. Who's Koa? Dare da? Oh, he's currently ranked as the number one god in the people of the springs. Says the trap's first chief, he's the only other god who's ever made it to the mysterious island. Really? He's always out in the bat, so we don't get to see him often. Sounds like this is quite an occasion, though. Let's go check it out. Let me put up the clothes sign first. Okay, come with me. Now it's started. So in that case... <laughs> Follow Milani to the square. Turns out in order, so presumably... Maybe... This might have multiple parts to it, I presume. But I wonder just how long this one is going to be. In comparison. Okay, cool. Here we are. Guy should be back. Oh, funny hat. Couple of hat. Koga, the crystals you asked for can only be found in is deeper than 500 meters underground. Here, have a look for yourself. As for the people you asked me to take along, they almost all got lost in the cave. In my sense of duty as a guide, I brought them all back. It's time to save the trouble and let me go alone. Indeed, well done, the commissioner. No wonder he's the best, Sasuga Topogaevo. I wouldn't dare to go within more than 200 meters down into a cavern like that. I wonder how much he made this time. Oh, he really does sound like a super amazing guide. I mean, you can get some pointers from him. Who knows, maybe he gets to have some trouble on a trip to the mysterious island. Koa always treats his experience like trade secrets. He never tells anything, anyone, anyone anything about being a guide. Okay. But one day, I'll also be able to reach out and presumably tell everyone. Is him right? Do you really think you'll be able to get his help? Oh, so that's the guy from before. Well, I made you do it for talking. You must be the top god of your tribe. I have a commission that I hope you'd be willing to consider. Oh, that guy sure looks familiar. Or oh, those two the scholars from Samir who were bitten by the Kaholasaurs. They also wanted to go to the mysterious island, right? Seems like I finally realized that they need a guide. A commission? Since you obviously heard about my abilities, have you also happened to hear about my rates? If you're not intimidated by the price, so then we can talk. Yes, I've looked into everything I need to know. As long as the trip is a success, then the commission fees won't be a problem. Oh, and where is it you want to go? In the mysterious island. Just as Pamon thought, Yaharima. Mmm. So they're gonna get discouraged by me. But first, please don't misunderstand. I'm no tourist. I wish to visit the real place. You hear that he wants to go to the island. In that case, Koha is the only one for the job. The journey to the island requires a lot more than just a guide, right? If so you want to visit the real mysterious island, then I'm sure you've also heard about the requirement for a trip, right? Oh, so. Well, the guide is someone they can't just hire, so presumably we need Milani there. But, companion, so presumably maybe Kolaun has his Kaholasaur? They might have each other, but their relationship with the guide probably won't work. As I know, according to the legend, only those who are willing to entrust their lives to one another will be able to reach the island together. I must reach that island, even if it means putting my life in someone else's hands, I've made up my mind. Don't waste your words on me, the way I see it, the requirement is just a way to weed out those who do not have the skills to reach the island by themselves. You. Say you put your life in someone else's hands, ridiculous. Even if someone were to trust me with their life, they'd just be another burden. Let's look at it the other way around. Why would I place my life in the hands of someone whose abilities are far below mine? And that is what the legend is really hinting at there. Many gods in the tribe have received commissions like this, only to end up bogged down by their incompetent clients long before reaching the destination. How do you think I reached the mysterious island? I made it because I chose to go alone. Um, I'm different, I'm no ordinary tourist, I'm a scholar. That doesn't make much of a difference to me, you'll give up halfway in best, which is a waste of my time and a waste of your commission fees. I can tell you're just looking to explore something new. If that's the case, they can just find another god in the tribe, for example, Milani. New student over there, so she gotta prove herself as better than that other guy. So with that guy's attitude, Pama takes back everything nice she said about him. 
Alright, things to do now? Goodbye. Hold on, pull out. What's wrong? I'm only introducing a picture quant to you because I know your teacher. In fact, I'd say it's quite the opportunity. Sakaku no chance. That's what Tachagli says in his boss fight. Different mind that for now, I don't agree with your views on the island. Uncle Nu taught me that. I know you're just the same as him. You both honestly you still have to prove yourselves. Still think they have to follow the legend of the ladder, waiting for a cumbersome client to find you before even trying to set off. Moani? The rare ores I brought back are proof that I've been to the island. This for new is his proof. Why don't you wait until he's actually found the island before you start using his views to refute me? After Koa weaves, the crowd begins to disperse. I'm really sorry, I just wanted to take you to see what the excitement is all about. I wasn't planning on getting into an argument with him again. But Cole seemed to harbor some kind of grudge against you, Milani. Maybe your teacher. A difference in attitude. I know, quite an impressive achievement for my teacher, huh? I and mean, the best girl in the club can't stop talking about him. I thought you would be more upset. Of course not, Uncle New has also argued with Cole before. I've already heard the same words several times now. It's hard to prove anything yet, unless you've actually been to the island. I also really hope to reach the island, right, Milani? That's right, it's just that I've always seen the journey as something super important not to be taken lightly. I was really surprised when you asked me to be your guide today. Oh, after telling you about all the dangers with such a serious face, I didn't make you think that you were causing me trouble, did I? Actually, Paman did think about taking your invite back. No, please don't do that. Zetani Yamanade, absolutely stop. Part of what Uncle New Tommy is a guy, the difficulty of the trip is the very first thing that needs to be clearly laid out to the group. Um, if you want a chance of reaching the destination together, you must first reach a destination, reach a consensus on the amount of effort that will be required. I was felt that my teacher is no less scope than Kowal, but Uncle New has never been to the island, oh, so Kowal always uses that to push us down. So as Uncle New's student, I've always wanted to complete the trip to prove his skills. It's a pity that I've never had the chance. But don't you have that chance now, Moani? If you'd agree to be our guide, we're completely willing to trust you with our lives. The top of the renowned traveler and his trusty companion will definitely be able to find the mysterious island. Then you can come back and teach that Kowal a lesson. Come on, come on, bring it in. Aw. Aw, hug a shield. A hug. Oh, oh, they actually had a special animation. Oh, I'm making Pamon blush. Embarrassing. That's cute. Alrighty then, if we're gonna go, we should start preparing right away. Already had the plans for this trip, we're for some time. Come with me. So take that. Mm hmm. And it's them now. Oh, it's that Scar guy. I almost forgot he was still here. And that Yatsu, strange guy. Scar guy, my name is Varandra. Please use it. I didn't expect to see you again, Traveler and Diamond. Oh, and it's that lady too, that One san. Her sister, hello again. Excuse me, Miss God, since we've been referred to you, Godless Son, would it be okay for us to join your journey? And Amin is just over there, standing. I'm a lady, just call me by my name. So whether or not you can come along, I'm sure you've already heard the requirements. We only just met, and I'm not sure you're cut out for this trip. Path to the mysterious island is a grueling one. So they were, okay. I admit that if we're coming to Nala, I've not encountered many things outside of my field of expertise. So understand what you're worried that will slow you down, so how about this? Set off with you as ordinary travel companions, and I'll pay you the usual commission fees. We won't officially be your clients. In other words, you need to shoulder the responsibility of being our guide, and even if something were happened to us, the reputation as a guide won't be tarnished as a result. How does that sound? Your contest, you were a member of the team. I could never agree to such a careless deal. Don't tell me you think I'm the same kind of person as Kowal. So you still refuse my offer? Upon Kari, I'll put them over for the return trip at your backpack. Without a gun, the road ahead may be dangerous, so please don't follow me. Senpai. You're not just Senpai. And he wants to go alone. Why is this guy so obsessed with that island? Wait, please don't do this in front of a guy. I can't let a tourist go on some dangerous journey all alone. My sweet mom would give me a harsh scolding if I ever let you do that. So sorry for the trouble, really. I can't say that, although it would be inappropriate for one of two strangers I just met, there's another solution. Bring along two friends. How about this? Let's meet up tomorrow morning at the monument near the tribe's southeastern slope. I'll see you there. Mm -hmm. 
So you've decided to accept my offer. And my plan is to use some of our time together to meet from strangers and a friend of the kind we can trust with our lives. Exactly, yeah. How cute. That's your plan? Very well, then. Wonderful. On behalf of both Veronica and I, thank you so much. Okay. So how many more sections? Pretty sure only Milani could come up with a plan like that. Sasuke Murani Tekanji, if that's Milani for you. Get started on preparations, come with me. Taritomo Tsutekte. Calibate Milani to the fishing shop. What I wonder is... Okay, so that would be the overrun path to the volcano, I suppose. But I wonder in what patch we're actually going to get that. Hmm. Need a bit more focus in. Oh, all right. Thanks. Ooh, okay, there we go. Hi, hi. And there we are. And... Yeah, well, I thought I'd get some business for you, so that should be... Persistent? Owner of Ottawa. No, it's a different shop. I lies in it. Name is Gelafoth. I know, it's just that Wafa sounds so much cuter. <laughs> well, since you're the customer here, I guess whatever floats your boat. Okiyakusa. Customer such guess. I need a candy tent with all the accessories that only the best you've got. Another commission, huh? Just so you know, a full tent according to your standards is going to be pricey. It's your client covering the bill. How much are we talking? Don't worry about the cost, I'll take care of it. But that's not right. We're the clients, after all. Hmm, hmm, let's make this clear. We're not working together like this is a higher commission, are we? Well, we can't cook it at all. Okay, that guy. Hmm. And now we're traveling as close friends who trust each other with anything. That's what I thought. Honestly, I can be a little picky when it comes to camping equipment, and I don't want my friends to be paying for me. Don't worry, it's not that expensive. We're ready, Wafa. Yerachi. The total was 200,000 mora. Isn't it still allowed for you, Milani? Just imagine us in the wilderness, okay? We can either sleep out in the open, tired and weary. So we spent a week's worth of pocket money and completely sold. No yeah, problem, Sam, that's a great deal. You that a week's worth of pocket money? Are you rich? Well, it's fewer than two. You know, you know, it's not important. We still need to buy some equipment from another store. Come with me. I mean, Milani, the instrument store. Special equipment purchased by Milani. High end camping gear that Milani has bought from this adventure. Let's compare the crappy one from the other quest. It's gone now, too. Because it was evidence. Okay, so nothing new there, even though she's in the quest line. Okay. And that's over there. Okay, cool. Switch to Milani. Transmission, and. Here we are, and you are instruments. Junior, Anji, Ojisan, Anshieta, Jembe Studios. Call me Uncle, but I'm going off of your grandfather, you know? Ojisan, because you're still young. Go on, hey, can you help me find something kind of rare? I can negotiate the price, what do you say? Right, what are you looking for? A record player, specifically the kind that's convenient to take camping. That model is pretty rare indeed. I thought it'd be nice to keep it as a prize collectible in the shop. Anshinyo. Calm down, please. The hammer will go on. Coughing, don't break it, okay? You can buy it back from me when you're done with it. Thank you. Ojisan, arigato. A record player, does that mean you buy some records too, or does she have one? Yep, and that's our next stop. Oh, okay. So we're going there now. To the record store, hand camping gear, and a special record player model. It's right over there, okay. Try playing an instrument. So presumably that might be where we buy... Whatever instrument comes from that one's rhythm game event, maybe? It's interesting that Saber is technically open without a unique in instrument, because it's got... It's got the vintage lyre, but that's also said to be a mod set instrument, too. Paka Paka, Paka Nui. Sochi Kokado Records. Molly, have you found this out to release a record of your own? Can she sing? You'll be the first set song with that I ever did, not today. I just wanted to buy a record, but wanted to keep it new customers and listen to it in secret. Oh, that's a pretty rare record, you know. Copy difficult to copy. 
The sword's haven't even finished to listen to that one yet. Maybe I can think of a way to connect it with a friend from the Masters of the Night went to release a record. Oh, then we can produce some really well tunes if not a deal. Did he say Kahuna? Nice, that's a record also accounted for. What do we need it for? Playing music outside. Well, I asked a friend from the Masters of the Night for some advice once, and apparently, playing the song at night is an effective way to keep travelers safe and sound. It should be so tall. Is that really a thing? Well, if it doesn't cost much, it's a nice way to make the trip a little more pleasant. Yeah, how it goes, Moni? 20,000 more for this record. That's the best I can do. Okay, deal. Looks like Moni really is rich. Shopkeeper, that should be about everything we need to buy next to it, so I'm getting kind of nervous. What's wrong, Moni? Next, I need to find my teacher and get them back to the island. Since the legend walked by the first chief, there's also a map. Not just a regular map, it's more of a treasure map. So strange symbols, almost like it's part of a big puzzle. Guys must draw from their experience to decipher the map's meaning and understand the root. She made several copies of the map and distributed them to the first members of the tribe. Copies will be passed down to future generations, so usually, the teacher will pass their copy to their student. Which brings us to today, the day I officially asked Uncle New for his copy of the map. Oh, hearing that is also making Pilon feel a little nervous. Sounds like it must be a pretty serious moment. Yes, but the thought of having you two by my side, so it makes you feel a lot better, we won't let them go me down, right? That's right, let's go and find them together. Mm -hmm. Yosh. Equipment. Special equipment. Camping equipment is necessity, of course, in the record player and records are for entertainment during rest time, you suppose. And a lover of music. Feel free. Dragon noises. Okay. And switch to you. Oh my goodness. Goofy. Now we have no full Gisten, which means... Gotta go up here. And that's alright. Jump, and there we go. Do noon, Uncle Nu. I have a big surprise for you. Surprise for Nu. Bikuri? Bikuri? A surprise? And must be here to finally pick up the map. Hey, so right through me as always. Did you forget that you had mentioned these two dudes before, the ones who went to the Night Kingdom with you? In some sense, I could say that you've already trusted each other with your lives. It's just that my feelings are a little complicated now. Huh? Do you think that I'm still not ready yet, Uncle Nu? No, I believe you're the best guide in your generation. It's just that I'm not ready yet. Through all of the journey to the Mysterious Mount is no need for any god of the people of the springs, I'm still a little worried. Don't worry, with our help, Malone can definitely be able to find the Mysterious Island. But this time, I'll definitely be able to prove that Koa was no better than Uncle Nu. Don't misunderstand, since you made up your mind, so I won't try to stop you. It's just... Please listen to your teacher's words once more, Malani. Warani? Our mission as guides has never been to prove anything. There is only one thing we must do, guide tourists safely to their destination. I understand, Uncle Nu. In that case, you may have the map, so take this with you. What is that? What is it? Some kind of ornament? Oh, talisman, Omamori. Take good care of it, you must return it to me when you get back from the mysterious island. It's made with spinel fruit, and for some reason, this doesn't look like a regular spinel fruit to me. Frozen for distant, which is right, which is precisely why it's so effective. You really know me best, Uncle Nu. Tashi wa wakaru ne. Alright, travel in Pama, tomorrow we'll set off, make sure you get some good rest tonight. Can't wait for another adventure. Wait until the following day, and that left behind by the first chief of the people of the springs, it is said to indicate the route to Mysterious Island, that only skilled gods can decipher its secrets. Water. Now this should be the water. So, mountain. Okay, Sky Island's up here. Wave, dragon, and a mountain. And wait. Doesn't entirely line up with anything I see at the moment. Actually, maybe. Mountains are up here, though. So, wait. I see where I'm gonna have to go. Let's check. Oh, come on. So many of these. Which map and where? Sea salt, scent. Oh, come on. Not Shitoki. Not that. It should be near the bottom. Or. Oh, come on. 
Exit card. Help. Okay, right here. Okay. Wasn't looking in the right place. And this event is after everything else. Huh. So. So then. Huh. Sort of that. Huh. Yeah, so it should maybe be around in the middle here or something. Around Fire Thief Secret Isle, but not quite there yet. Hmm. Much to think about. Wait until the following day, and he's gone. Hmm. Something else I might want to do. Which is find another one of those funny flowers and try to cash it in for Earth Shaker's blueprint. Because I'm going to need that weapon for Kinich. If there were any around here, which I don't know. Mean that there. Down in here. Be a good spot to get those flowers, I think. Maybe. Go on. Come on. There we are. And record flower. Anything up top here or I'd like to get as many as I possibly can. And okay, just spinel fruit. Not bad, but not amazing. Hmm. Some kind of penguin. I think there just aren't that many here. That's fine. That's okay. Another ember core flower and anything down here. Some dragons and a pyroculus. Okay. Hmm. Interesting things, that's for sure. But we we'll an aphid. Record flower and okay, we'll switch back. Yeah, we'll pick up a couple more. That should be enough for Earthshake, which is nice. And oh, okay. Oh, and fire damage too. Interesting. If I used Milani, it'd be very easy to get stuck in that spirit way, though. So I won't do that. Okay. Any more that I can see around here, or does not really seem like it. Oh well. It's on the edges of avoiding the liquid Phlogiston. Okay, we got another flower here. What happens if we kill the Aether? Oh, can we get Phlogiston from that too? Okay, cool. Step it away. Get that. And... Should be most of everything, I think. Presumably. Okay, and... Do not intend for that. Miraculous in there. It's not my problem right now. Okay. Alright. Totem right there, and... Guess we could get a couple more of the gills, but... Not the big thing right now. Uh. Oh, okay. I will go and cash that in with a forge, which, right here, Salutary Furnace, Temple of Pox, but doesn't put us all of that, eh, it's a decent location there, but honestly, this Temple, the stadium is a bit more difficult to navigate than I might like. Okay, well, we can get here and do some trading, buy a weapon, go ahead. Yep, that's Earth Shaker for me. Claymore can get Footprint of the Rain, but we can get Foot of Espitzal. Oh, get the Ashe. And the Chainbreaker. Hmm. That needs few more of those flowers. That'll be okay. So we can just take these forging diagrams real quick. And make four earth shakers. Sturdier one for you. That. Right, I need to convert billets. Right. Okay. Which means going to... The crafting bench first. Alright. Thank you. 
Grab that, and we need to do some conversion. Make some Midlander Claymore billets. Convert four of those. That's good. So what forms remain unknown to this day? Go back there. Make the R5 Earthshaker. We'll have time to get it rolled up before he each comes out and I need to toss it to him. The big thing is, is the crit rate on Serpent Spine is frankly more than he needs with artifacts being as they are for him. The Night Soul Artifact set, and also he can't really be run with a shield all that well. So... Come on, come on. Serve your one for you, and make four Earth Shakers. Have you believed that people claim it was bullied by the hero of the Fire Thief? Say that even the Lord of Cinder Keep's Flames could not burn it away. And we got some refund from that. Cool. Earth Shaker. Should be good. see. Yeah, vision stuff should be fine now. I want to make sure my eyes don't stay closed for no reason. Getting a few back, not that many, but it is nice. Okay. So there is the one not one weapon you really needed, honestly. Because again, it's better than Serpent Spun on Keen H, which also means just not needing Serpent Spun on everybody. Okay. And I guess we can toss them all in. And that means 32% skill damage bonus after anyone triggers a power reaction. Cool. That's the weapon that he actually uses in that cutscene with Mavlika too. So we could get an ascension in Blazing Sacrificial Heart's Terror. All a person takes comes from this word, so naturally all they gain shall also be given back to it. Cool. Leveled up a little bit more, but we'll need a few more mats first. Okay. It is exciting, though. We'll give him a nice claymore that works from specifically and doesn't require him to take up Serpent Spine. All right, all right. Should have crapped a few more of the flutes. Where is that then? Assumably at the bottom right here. Okay. Thank you. Give me a few more, please. Ooh, nice. Thirty-six. And still need a decent amount more for Melanie's final ascension, though. Yeah. Oh well. As you would need seven more, and also the gills, but these materials will come from beating the story quest. So, hmm. either way, I think, wait until the following day, eight o'clock, yeah. Journey has begun, preparations must be made first. We'll go back tomorrow, eight o'clock. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Cool. Oh, that completes that. It's about time to meet up now. Let's head to the spot Molly mentioned. Where the couple of stores gather. Go to the agreed location. The pre-departure preparations are complete. It's time to go to the location you and Molly agreed on. All right. Let's do that. Just over there. Y'all, top on the Yako waters, and so what is that thing? Stone monument outside. Looks like some kind of dragon. History lesson time. Top traveler Palmon over here. Kochi da y'all. You're here, Milani, and the strange scholars are here too. Good morning, you too. Good morning. So when are we leaving? 
Seems like our Zexet is a child before the start of our journey. So when we get down to business as soon as possible, you know this is not unusual, it's pretty strong. So I hope we can all act a little more professional. Don't worry, I'm a very professional god. Mm -hmm. Our journey to Mysterious Island has officially begun. Yay. First you all see the statue here. Oh, it's got the inscription on it. Mm-hmm, is it an important clue? Well, no, it's not a quiddle. He was the first chief of the people of the Springs who came back from Sears Island set up this place. It's a monument. First thing we need to do before we set off is to touch the statue and pray to our ancestors to make our journey from the Sears Island smoother. Is there any theoretical basis to support that claim? Theoretical basis? No, but here taught it. It taught us. Taught me it's an essential step before heading to the Sears Island. He can't stand that superstition, can he? Very good, you think try to argue with me over something you aren't knowledgeable about that's very professional to you. Senmon Gaido, basically. A guide's area of expertise. Sure, since his practice doesn't have an empirical basis, I won't be able to be acquitted in my thesis. Come on, everyone. Nice. Greetings to my ancestors as your descendant. I'm about to follow in your footsteps and witness your accomplishments. Allow me to depart under your gaze and return under your protective watch. So what are we saying? We're not a descendant. If it really feels like we're about to embark on a great adventure. Now please get ready, we're going to look for the first clue. Hmm. Which is designated by Morani, speaking of which, where should we look for the clue? Place where many gather like a party. That's interesting. So that map. Zoom we were in the first location. That statue. Is that is that here? Maybe I don't imagine. Huh. Oh. Yeah, not there. Huh. So what is she even trying to do at this point? I don't even know. We'll just continue our overland journey. Come on, come on. And we could switch to Milani just like that. Get some, we'll get some back. And keep on going. Thank you, thank you. Now we switch to Gachina, keep that Nightsoul transmission going. Cut this up. Keep this up, maybe not perpetually, but pretty well. And switch. Whoa, oh, that didn't let us out for a second there. And here we are. Just gonna camp here. Or what? Okay, there's a mud or two there. This was a location where we fought some guys before, actually, and got one of those ring fragments. Oh, Kaholosaurs! Now to fight them off, or. Well, there are a lot of Kisola swords here. Kohoda Yunga Ipa Iozo. It's expected the first clue is related to the Kohoda swords. When people from outside the tribe get a copy of them, that most can deduce that the first clue is related to the Kohoda swords. They often end up looking in the wrong direction, which is why they got bitten. When the first chief created the map, he left a special mark for this part. It's a code that the tribe uses to indicate a herd of them. So it will be impossible to gain any weeks from finding just one or two stray Kaholosaurs. Now we'll throw out this, Milani. But according to the information I've been able to find, Kaholosaurs don't like gathering these herds, and wants to compete for the hot springs. Let me tell you a secret that only a god from the people of strings would know. It has so happens that wild Kaholosaurs periodically gather in the valley of the head. So it's a clue to the location then. So we gather in the vicinity. It's almost like how we're trapped. Maybe. Trap gathers together for festivals. So as soon as the season changes, the herd quickly disperses again. Season. Unless you're a guy who's always running across not one, it would be very rare to ever witness such a thing. This is a thing. I need to note this down right away and include an explanation as part of my thesis. According to what I deciphered from the map, a clue is hidden deep in that valley. But to get there, won't we have to get through the herd of Kaholosaurs? Hmm, we'll have to think of a way to sneak past without starting again together with her friends, so I'm sure they don't want to be disturbed. You mean we're going to have to walk through the Kaholos or her? That feels a little. Mm hmm, given that we have agreed to work together, everyone should do their part. However, Kari's been attacked by Kaholos or before, so this isn't an ideal plan for her. But it shouldn't be a problem at all for me. Let's have Kari wait here, and I'll take over all the tasks that are supposed to be entrusted to her. Yeah, no worries, don't need everyone to go. Actually, it's someone to stay and look out for the line, so we'll leave that to you too. Traveler Padmon, please come with me. Is that so? Then that works out perfectly. Now I understand how much you care for your assistant scholar. Ah, Winkin' a Gleam! 
Oh, me and stay close for going deep into the valley. It's gonna be a fight, or go up here. Can we talk to them? Yeah, we can. How much I care, I was just trying to practice good crew resource management. Rondra and I will keep an eye on the luggage, we'll leave the rest to you. Okay. And. Funny. Sword herb. Oh, but that's right, we have to sneak. Hello. Ooh. Now we're stuck, does that mean? Oh, uh oh, now we've been spotted. Force us into a fighter. Back up and try again. Okay. Oh, so she kind of goes in the same direction as us. Sure, seem on guard. We'll never get. In. Oh, it was. We were forced into a fail state. Okay. We weren't actually supposed to win. They sucked us out by giving us the sneaking mechanics. Ah, that was cool. Try to put us off guard. Give me order to use the information provided by the map to do so the crews in that valley. Why don't you simply chase them away? You're pretty strong, aren't you? First of all, the elders of the tribe always warned us to never hurt the Kahoa swords. Doing so will almost certainly bring bad luck. And secondly, you can't just show up and intrude on others' gatherings, much less make them weed. It's just terrible. But on what basis? Okay, so can we figure out another way to enter the valley? Hmm, there must be a way to enter the valley without startling them. It'd take a while for me to come up with a solution on my own, so I'd like to ask everyone to help come up with some ideas. Come on, think, is there a detour or another way around? According to the map, the crew is right in the middle of the Kahola Sword herd. <coughs> Even if we try to approach from the other side, we'll just run into the same problem. Hmm, this is tricky. Karya, I've noticed that you only talk when you're trying to help smooth things over between Varandra and the others. True, must have some ideas of your own, so why don't you share them with us? Very perceptive. Yeah, all right, when Varandra decided to look for weeds on the Kahosaurs, I wanted to help, and so I also looked up some information about the creatures. I discovered something very interesting. We thought that the Kahosaurs were on their hearing attracts their prey. They also possess a very keen sense of smell. But I'm not sure how useful that information is. Oh, that was actually very useful, Miss Karya. Let's call me Karya. In that case, please stay here and keep an eye on the luggage. If you have a come with me, I've got an idea. Sweet that day. Omani and find a way to infiltrate. Sort of smell masking, or get the smell of a whole sore on us? Good luck, I'll keep an eye on the luggage. And you. Why can't we just chase the whole sores away? Wouldn't be very nice. Presumably. A Moani found a way to infiltrate. Two Moanis. Maybe the spray feather gills or just water. Found it. What's this? The key to make your way through the hole. The Kahola swords have a keen sense of smell, they even try to sneak around and stay out of sight. So will notice us once you get close enough. This plant can help us solve that problem because its fragrance is very similar to the scent of a Kahola sword. You can apply the plant's extract to our bodies and trick their sense of smell. So we're gonna rub plant juice on ourselves. Don't worry, it's also good for your skin. Mawadi collects some of the plant's extract and masks everyone with its fragrance. Oh, Palmon feels all wet and slimy, but this actually does smell like a Kahola sword. Okay, okay, let's try to make our way through again. Alright, so we're back in sneak mode. Yep. Deeper into the valley. Anyways, let me stay close. Let's startle them. Oh, okay, so we get far enough away. Too far from Milani. So we can't actually talk to them, can we? Or can we just chase them away? Okay. We need to go back again. Oh, is that going to restart the entire cutscene? Or... Yeah. A part of it. Okay, cool. Now we can try. Deeper into the valley. Hmm. We're close. We can't move as fast. Okay. Hmm. Sure to share up sight. Okay. So what's the clue then? You're walking slow, what's that sound? Careful. Let's get there. Oh, a whelp. Oh, baby. Just a young Kahosaur, don't worry, this little one doesn't pose any danger. Hmm. 
Oh. Head down, and now it's not a little. Just gotta fall over, basically. Fall over lead, and... Oh, okay. We're fine here. Should be it. How could there be so many here? We can't get through. But I got a have an idea right here. Fighting them? Okay. Or go around? Yeah, just go around the rocks, yeah. yeah that's pretty simple. Or new, new. Oh, noise distraction. Fake penguin? Or. Come on. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Come on. If I went over there anyway and overted them, well, it would be silly. Sure, it'd work. So we can't wake them up. Careful, don't startle them. Actual dodgeable. And even consume stamina. Very dark souls. Oh, and this is. Must be getting close. Look, a bunch are gathering around that rock. What are they doing? Maybe when things start to get boring, they gather together and talk about something fun that I can't understand what they're saying. But Palmon thought gods from people the shrinks didn't understand Kohoasaurus. Not in that way, or... Sounds like someone has been trying to trick you. Yep, that guy from that scam. True, they were definitely trying to scam us, huh? Do you see it on the rock? It's like some kind of drawing. Another map, or... Oh, they activate... A mural. Like Monitor? Heard that there was a type of moss that changes color when it reacts to the biological signals released by Kaholosaurus. To trigger that kind of reaction, you need a huge number of Kaholosaurus. Must be the clue. Should we take a picture? The flash might disturb them when we try to copy it down. Lottie well, cops up must be drawing. Quite leads you back the way you came. Like patiently bringing the drawing to Ankari and everything you heard. So, so we passed the first stage of the journey now, right? See, had we chosen to drive the whole source off, we never would have been found. Found the slit being found? Seems... So we never would have been found. Seems there was a logical basis for everything you said, after all. Has he always been this way in his body? He's just obsessed with his research, that's all. At least this has shown that my judgment is correct, proven my trustworthiness. And so there should be no need for us to argue next time. Yes, I understand. I suppose that'll help us avoid wasting time. Lonnie really knows how to lead her group. She is a professional guide, after all. Next, let me use the lead we found to uncover our next destination. What does this pattern represent? Which one? I think this is where we were, or... Maybe... Waves and mountains. Hard to tell. Pumlet certainly doesn't have an idea what it's trying to get at. Oh, I got it. Moskaste? Though the lines are kind of rough, I can still see they represent the boundaries between the water and land. That jade skirt knoll. Use this to fill in the hole on the map and find our next destination. Next destination, next goal. Really, you got all that from just some rough lines. Well, intuition is also a part of it. Maybe I've just seen too many maps as a guide, and now it's easier for me to pick up on patterns like that. Seems like our break time is over. Let's get ready to move. Hmm, so is that. Maybe the final one, the Riddle of Sea and Sky. Go to the location analyzed by Milani. Oh, not yet. Milani successfully figures out the next destination based on the clues found in the valley, but it seems that new challenges await you there. All right. Well, right on over. Epic Monitor moment. And that's a Wyob. Funky. Okay. Hi there. Not you. And over. Okay, so the boss isn't going to appear at the moment. Oh, no, this is just where Kosiho is. Okay, this is the place. That's why I wasn't there. So, where do I go next? I'm not completely sure yet. Now, since indicate there's a mechanism here that crosses the water, I seem to think about what these lines might be referring to. I knew it, my theory was correct, and what was that? It sounds like he's got something to say again. The weird guy has something weird to say again. That's what he said in Japanese.
If you have any suggestions, then please feel free to share. I believe that the mechanism that allows you in is a spirit way. Hmm, that is a possibility, but I don't remember anyone from the tribe setting up a spirit door around here. According to my theory, it might not have been set up by humans. The dragons living in that one also used a similar device long before the humans. Speaking of which, the spirit doors your tribe uses may have been built imitating the dragon ones. Well, yeah. I remember now, Uncle Nude did mention this possibility to me before. After learning about the legend, I realized that it was connected to my research. So I looked up a lot of related information. Even though I haven't gotten an exact route to the sewer sound, I'm fairly certain I've deduced the geographical features of the island's surrounding areas. Firstly, it's at an intersection between water and land, and second, it should be a high concentration of phlogiston. My research indicates that the spirit was originally a natural phenomenon caused by the flow of phlogiston. Therefore, the area must contain many potential spirit ways. The dragons who lived here in ancient times may have find some devices to control them. Amazing how it all makes sense. Now everyone's contributing to the team. To flatter me, if my theory is correct, we should already be very close to the mysterious island. So to unlock the mechanism, we'll be able to derive the island's location. Alright, then let's start searching for the dragon spirit door. It's just a quick and easy name, I won't be able to include it in my thesis. Couldn't dragons use the device one for the humans? We should stick with a name that references no human concepts, calling it Fulgus and No would be much more appropriate. Well, those are human concepts too. Oh, then let's start searching for Fulgus and No, speaking of which, what is it exactly? If I'm not mistaken, look that way. Oh, that broken thing. Ah, interesting. That wasn't there before. They activate it. Well, it started going. This should be it, right? Looks like we can activate it once we get close enough. The light does remind me of a spirit way. But according to the map, there should be two more Fulgiston nodes. Let's keep searching everyone. Activate the Fulgiston node. Zero, two. One up there, one over there. Hello. Now how to control the Fulgiston nodes will reflect on the information I read. I'm so happy Verandra was able to help the team. Hmm, it's spinning. Okay. Go over the other side then. Okay. Can activate this. Switch to Kachina. Oh, okay. Switch up. Try to use that to get there faster. No. So we got Keen H. No sigils. Okay. Thank you. And then. Okay, well, teleport waypoint right here. Good. Thank you. I've been here before. I have. No one sees it, but it's way up high. We'll need to find a way up there. Grab one? Or climbing? Climbing could work. Just gotta climb on up. And is this gonna do it? Close enough this way, or? Maybe. Jump off and... Okay. Can I touch? There we go, cool. Activated. And next one is... Well, there's some quest down there. Oh. Then... Oh, okay. Pass that, whatever that is. Oh well. Oh well. Some hillotrolls then. Hmm. So in that case, guess we'll have to fight them. Oh well. I can just activate it now, couldn't I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that teleport back there? Yep, we finally found all of them. At the start of the night, work everyone. Okay, now first we need to figure out how to control this thing. Pretty much qualities are very similar to that of the man-made device, but it doesn't seem as intuitive to me. So there's something wrong. See, look at this. After activating a normal spirit door, we can just go ahead and use it. This requires someone to stay and keep operating gears in cooperation. Also, according to the map, we need to activate the mechanism and switch between different focus and nodes to change the path of the spirit way. If you don't operate the nodes properly, and the people on the spirit way will come tumbling through the sky. Isn't that super dangerous? Well, we gotta go out of Here, the process should be very safe, but only if three focus and nodes are each being operated by someone. You think you'd be able to operate it? I'm just trying to quit. It requires more skill than a typical spirit door. But never tried before, I've read a lot of information, theoretically should be able to properly control, let me give it a try. It won't work. It won't work. 
or... No, it did. Okay. Presumably it's... Oh, huh? But in theory, this shouldn't happen. Lacks the bravery. If your hunter can't control, then that also rules out me. Okay, well, how about you? After all the adventures I've been on, handling something like this should be easy peasy. Or... Alright, then it'll be up to the traveler to stay here and operate the cortisone mechanism. No, I'll go activate the mechanism. When you know, we need to switch nodes. Make sure you quickly head the corresponding node. We should make it safely. And wait, this way sends even more danger. <coughs> Dangerous Moani. Don't worry, it looks like the spirit waves are all above the water. I'm pretty good at swimming, so I'm not afraid if I end up falling in. That's so high, and I'll be falling so fast. If you don't manage to reach a node in time or you make a mistake, there's a lot that can happen. Just remember the promise we made before we left, my mom. We those who can trust each other, their lives can reach the mysterious island. So you two are willing to trust me, the natural and willing to trust you. Alrighty. So then, uh, just leave it to us. Please be careful. I'm doing a spirit by challenge, you can jump to adjacent tracks. And close to another track, jump while holding down the directional movement control to switch tracks. So we got that, but also, how far away can we get? I want to see. If yeah, those hill turtles from earlier are still there. I wouldn't imagine it. Well, maybe. Some quest there. And... Yeah, they just... Won't go. Yeah, those hill trolls are just gone. I don't imagine they would drop anything. Given that this is... Their quest enemies. Maybe? Maybe. That said, in the one quest with the avatars of lava, they did drop stuff. It's still... Oh well. It's just a way to save time. So, right over here. Yeah. So we could actually talk to them, right? I think. Still got your surfs on. Yeah. Who does? Two puffers, additional two for another hit, presumably. Wave momentum. We talk? Please be careful. Yeah, we're in Molani mode. Part of Veronja. I'm so happy. Veronja was a little help to the team. Yeah. Okay. Control the nodes. Let me reflect on the information I read. Okay, cool. Simple enough. Will that make me fall or damage me or. I don't know. At least we can jump over them from pretty far. Oh, so we got some platforms over there. That's interesting. And switch to the spirit way on the right. Okay. Oh. That'll jump us. Oh, so presumably there was a mechanism I could have activated to make it easier to reach. I guess. Okay, showing just now. Let's go find the node we need. Oh, okay. There was a crystal right there. Okay. I just want to see, actually, if there was any special dog I missed. Hmm. Funnel part, Mysterious Island's Truth. To switch. So. Completing the Spearway Challenge while completing. Didn't say anything really there. Okay. Is it to switch pass? Touch. We did it. Ah, and you can actually see her moving. That switch. Okay. Now presumably we're her again. Yep. It's pretty rapid then. Wait. Oh, no. Okay. Now let's go on around and we need to switch and then avoid the rift. I've never actually hit one. I wonder what it would do then. Would it damage me? Oh, well. Nothing happens right now. You just tank it, I guess. Huh. Yeah, because normally it makes you lose points, but... If there aren't points there, it doesn't really matter, does it? And we gotta switch again. Yeah. Get to the next node. Oh my god, you have die. Okay. Shine just now, you can actually see it switch beforehand. Oh, you can actually see her moving around. 
Got an object for Maloney. Oh, that's fun. Okay. We take more. I'm taking care of the final node. Please be careful. Complete the challenge. Okay. So, we can keep on moving. Keep on surfing. And wait. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, so it just led us back to the same place, or? Huh. The friends we found along the way. We knew that was perfect. Yep, the. Or amazing Melania, there were a couple moments Mama thought it was over. Yeah, I'm confident I can do it all over again. Wait, why are the Flux and Nodes no longer lit? Oh no, you're right. It appears the Flux and Nodes here need to automatically recharge. Once they're activated, they'll be unusable for some time. In that case, no matter what happens next, to seize our chance, otherwise who knows how long we'll have to wait for another shot. But it's raining. Do you hear that? The weather's getting gloomy and a bunch of whirlpools just appear in the water. Guess we need to get to higher ground to take a look. It's probably in a pattern, maybe. Make your way up the hill nearby. Hill. Hill. Hmm? Oh. A big one. Hey, look over there. Well, there's a giant whirlpool over there. It's gonna be another time to go down a big whirlpool like in... First, second, golden... First golden apple? I think it was the first golden apple archipelago. We went down a whirlpool. And some underground ruins. Yep, and that's our next stop. Yeah, what do you mean? We go down it. Oh. So we gotta tell them about that and see what they have to say. The info I decide from the map points point to only impossibility. <clears throat> to reach the mysterious zone, you must enter that massive whirlpool. No way. Forgive me for being frank, but as a god of people, those friends, I'm sure I understand the danger of such a vortex even better than we do. So I know, but whether it's the information to from the map, the direction the spirit way that I observed in the air. Everything points to the path ahead being hidden in that whirlpool. You might be wrong, or I'm just standing by. Mm -hmm. Not trying to be unreasonable, unfortunately, I'm very knowledgeable in this area. Spirit waves must have affected nearby bodies of water and lower the water level, and that's why the whirlpools appear. This rate of the land that was once underwater will soon reappear at the surface. See you in the light of day again. We think that sounds more to the depths of the serious island. So our goal should be the shallow waters if we enter that vortex. Other currents will drag us to the bottom abyss. Well, he does seem to have a point. We gotta be risky, and that's why it's dangerous. I can't find any evidence to refute your claim for the moment, but I still trust my judgment. And it seems like it's time for a collaboration to come to an end. But didn't we all agree to trust each other? I have reached this conclusion based on my field of expertise, and I cannot deny it. Even if you try to convince me otherwise from now on. Now on, let us each choose our own way. Dame? No, I refuse. You. When your plans separate themselves from the group in the middle of a journey will result in the worst luck possible. We'll not agree to that. And we can implement the plan I propose at the very beginning. You're not my guide, and as such, you don't have to take responsibility for me. Oh, but you can't do that once you've traveled together as a group. If we're to leave now, we'll all be hit with bad luck. It's now beyond both of our control. So about this, you and Carter wait here. Go first and investigate the whirlpool. And I'd like to explain everything with theories and logic, so I'll go my case first, and then I'll come back to convince you. Well, uh, so I run. Traveler Palma, let's get going. Come be Moani to investigate the whirlpool. Better acquainted with her than us, so you should tell her carefully we consider her decision. Moranjo is also quite knowledgeable about Nalan's geography, so his ideas might also be worth considering. Perhaps you can give it some thought. Nope! Okay. I've considered your position and said no. Okay. Cool. Well, the massive whirlpool is up ahead, so the thought of going in there is making Pamon dizzy. Uzunanaka. Hmm. I'm gonna see real quick if they have. 
Those two little trolls over there drop something if you kill them. Not there. Come on, come on. Okay, so there was a switch underneath a pile of rocks that I didn't see. And... Okay, let me see what happens when they kill the Hillatrills. Presuming they'll kill the Hillatrills. Kill a troll. Come on. One, two. Uh, okay, so they did it in another order. Wait. So they looked at something else too. Let me see. Wait. Took out the hill trill and yeah, the hill trills don't drop anything. Okay, special dog either. Do you also think that this is a reckless decision? Oh well, it's okay. That's completely normal. Actually, I completely understand how Garamja feels. This is just how it is to be a god who tries experiences that have been passed down from generation to generation. What gives us the ability to guide our guests through hardships? This gives us the power to decide which way we should go, but it also means that we must bear the consequences of our mistakes in judgment, which could be quite dire this time. Although I'm pretty convinced that all the weeds we have collected are pointing us to the whirlpool, I still don't know what awaits us inside. The scholars still choose to reject my plan, and one of the comments asks them to only do as I say. Same goes for the two of you. You are the commissioners, so if you think this is too risky, it's personally reasonable if you want to end the trip here. Good news is I know the way back to the tribe very well. Nope. Cute wink. Or I made a promise to each other, we'll reach the island together. Travor? That's right, you've trusted us before Moami, now it's our turn to trust you. Besides, it's going to take more than a whirlpool to scare the two of us. You all managed to make it back from the Night Kingdom. For an experience like that, it's just scary about being sucked into a whirlpool. Mm -hmm. Come on, bring in yet another hug. Oh, funny phrase. Alright, alright, let's investigate this whirlpool and see if we can gather many info to convince that scholar. Now, as a luck aside, he definitely knows a lot about geography. We need him on the team. I know, it's just that we can't see much from here. I'll get closer to the water and have another look. Wait a sec. Is it just Paimon or does the whirlpool seem to be getting smaller? So we gotta go in now. You're right, maybe it's just like the focus of notes can only be active for a certain amount of time. Nesamodo. Fuel node. Means we need to hurry. Scott, we have a problem. I am this. Kadia, what are you doing here? Nesamodo? Try to persuade him, but Ranjin should insist on verifying his theory first. He said that the water of the south was empty shallow enough to wade through. But after he took a few steps, the water suddenly began to surge and he was swept away. Not much of a swimmer, so I came to call for help. But if this have to happen now, can you still make it into the whirlpool? We'll probably have to choose. No need to hesitate, I'll get in the water and rescue him. Just tell me which way he went, Kadia. Sugoiku Kara. Their surfboard. I'll rescue him with a certain amount of time. With a bit of bad music, too, ends. So actually, spot within 90 seconds, the whirlpools don't stop us. Okay. Cool. Show off these travel abilities and help coffin. Mm. That wave's been pulled away by the current. Don't go on, you got set a tray. Not here either, the current is too fast. Mm. And we found him! Okay, simple. It's all about dashing and jumping. Whirlpools really did not do much. Nothing and sputtering. Spluttering. Ooh, Kari came and found us just in time. Oh, there they are. Asuka that's all. Ramdreth, thank goodness you're over. Thank you so much. Kahado-san. Murani-san. Actually... Uh, it was an apology rather than things. Oh, did I tell you to wait for me? <laughs> Off, judging by the changes in the water service, the bathroom of Surasan wouldn't be around for long. Didn't want to miss this opportunity. It's just, I didn't expect my calculations to be wrong. Seems you were right. Right, who knows if we can make back in time now, huh? The whirlpools have disappeared. Oh, and right, Celestia is all the way over there now. Pretty far away, seems like you missed our chance. 
Mm. Why would you give up on such an opportunity to come rescue me? Oh, there was a gun. How can you say that? It's already bad enough that you had to be left behind. Do you think I'd let anyone in my group drown? Mm. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Don't feel guilty, Kara. I think if I reacted in the notes, it will cause the work to reappear. The only problem is that we still don't exactly when we'll be able to do that, so let's wait. It's already getting late now, and we've been on the move for the whole day. As your gun is guessing me can't first have a good meal. We can talk about the other stuff tomorrow. Now that you mention it, Armand is feeling a little hungry. It's a miracle she hasn't mentioned food for so long. Hey, Pamela, so much can be very sensible. It won't interrupt while everyone's busy solving puzzles. She'll kin me and do her best, basically. We have plenty of tasty things to eat. Just find a suitable spot to make camp. Mm, I like that place over there. Hmm. Well, he guides everyone to the best place to make camp. Is this the spot? Let Pama the Traveler help set up the tent. Go ahead, I'll take care of the fire, and here's all the camping set. Let's set the tent up wind from the campfire. Yeah, in. Or fueled fire. Hmm. I can't believe there was an error with my theory. Is there anything I can help with? I must thank you all for saving Baramja earlier. Okay, we can't talk to her at the moment. There we are. What do you think? This is a specialty dish I wanted to make that's perfect for camping. Mm-hmm, it really hits the spot. You're a great cook, Milani. Kari helped out quite a bit, so she deserves some credit, too. No, oh, I'm just happy I was able to help out. Oh? Wait. Oh, but what's it sound? Some kind of wild beast. Oh, it's scary to camp out at night. Don't worry, remember the record player I bought? Let me go turn it on to make the trackings less angry. And... Is this a song or come down to the scrollosaurus? No, she thought I saw what's it really works out. Well, that's so it really works. My mom thought we were just playing it for good luck. My parents told me that most of the valuable experience from our ancestors is hidden in various customs. It's always better to trust our traditions. Oh, I guess that makes sense. In a sense, this trip to the mysterious element is also a custom left behind the first shape of the tribe. I wonder what kind of experience he's trying to share with us. What kind of person was he like? Yeah, Paolo would like to know too. Even though I've heard my parents tell stories since I was little, I actually don't know too much about him. It's said that he was the first person to make a map of not one, even the first person to become friends with the Kahoosaurus. Sounds pretty amazing. I guess you go still then, huh? Yeah, there isn't a place in not one that he doesn't visit even remotely in the remote part of those footprints. Hmm. Even now, no one has even come close to his reputation status as a guy. His trip in mysterious out is the most legendary of all his accomplishments. But oddly enough, after returning from the mysterious island, he laid aside his yearning for adventure and chose to settle down. That's how the tribe was founded. It really makes me wonder what the journey meant to him. Mm, uh huh. A camping trip shouldn't be this stuffy and quiet. Everyone needs to help to make it more lively. How about this? Before we rest for the night, let's have a bonfire party. She's gonna dance, right? Probably. If we're going to go plunging into that whirlpool tomorrow, then would be best to try to rest and conserve energy now. Now is not the time to be a party pooper. You ought to agree to ideas from the one who rescued you today. Yeah, she's right. Alright, so what are the rules stipulate for a bonfire party? 
rules. A bonfire doesn't have any rules. Everyone just needs to have a good time. How about this? I'll ask everyone a question and we'll take turns saying what's on our mind. Okay, sounds fun enough. So, for the first question, what's the purpose of a journey? Oh, we were just talking about this. It's through everyone's ideas and maybe we figure out what the first chief was thinking back when he made the trip. Coming here first, the best part of the purpose of a journey is that definitely you're not sure all kinds of delicious food. And Friends? Most importantly, it's about making the trip together with your companions. Aww. Hmm. Yes, I can't agree more. Okay, next person, how about you, Traveler? The most of a journey is finding my sibling. Oh? Close your eyes or recall the moment you're separated from her. Quick, you remember the purpose of your journey? It's been to find her all along, but you have yet to achieve this goal. You don't seem to see any other meaning of this long journey. Every slip that began to roll the sands of Windless Creek and Monset and the colorful night sky in Leeway Harbor. And with the moment, stepped on the islands of Inazuma, with falling sakura petals, pointing to smell of coffee and samaru. Sound of tide, waters of fontaines, smooth on sides, cruels of colorful fish. These things seem to be the real meaning of your journey. Sure, take your time thinking about it. Where should I even start? I get it, you must have passed through many nations before making it to now one, right? Share your memories. It's quite possible that your experience traveling is more than my habits a guide. It's understandable that you can't explain it off the top of your head. Why don't I circle back to you later? You can tell me once you have a clear answer. Hmm. There's cinematic. That's what your car has to say. Me, if you ask some odd travels. Second one for some traveling, so I don't have anything useful to contribute. When Kai Hajimete. That doesn't matter, this is a party where the bond for not some research somehow. Alright, if I had to say what the meaning of a journey is, that's say it provides an opportunity for true companionship. Before you reach the destination, you don't need to think about anything outside the trip itself. As long as you stay together with your companions, you won't have any trouble to worry about. I think I understand. Well, I hope that didn't sound too silly. Mm, Alright, now it's Veronica's turn. Research! Alright, if you insist. My opinion, our goals and dreams in life are in pursuit of what we call results. So the whole journey is about a path that leads to these results. He's wrong. It's the greatest meaning of a journey man as a man should find the right result. Not sure I completely get what you mean. It's nothing difficult to understand. It's the same as the decision of your first chief. He must have discovered enough valuable results after visiting the Easter Zone to decide that he should end his journey once he achieved the results he want. Any additional journeys would become all but meaningless. Um. Before coming here, someone saw the results of one of my research progress. You saw more like that. All that person had to do was sign his name and my achievement. He was able to take all the honors, all my effort vanished into the air as though it never existed. You understand now, Miss Guy, without results, the journey is meaningless. It wasn't about worming. I sympathize with your situation, but I'm afraid I can't agree with your take. I don't need your sympathy as long as I can reach the mysterious island and find the correct results. My pain and struggles will become just an insignificant part of the process. What happened during the day already proved that my fear is wrong. So I'm willing to trust your judgment. I apologize for a previous argument. I must make it to the mysterious island, and if I have to trust, trust my life to someone else to do that goal, then so be it. Was that actually supposed to be an apology? Because it sounded kind of awkward. Actually, there's a saying among the guys at the people of the springs. If the goal of the journey is to reach the destination, they should never left the house to begin with. Because the fountain destination of every journey is your home. Aww. It would be disrespectful of my duties as a guide, or just talking to her straight where they wanted to go. It's my hope to also make everyone feel happy on the way to their destination. I'm saying that's basically because of the opposite of a scammer. That is what I would truly call a journey, and that is my answer. Just as you don't agree with me, I can't agree with your point of view either. Mm -hmm. I'm 
not too worried about that. After all, another purpose of traveling is to help people understand each other. I really like that wink. What sort of logic is that? Alright, that's it for this round. Since it's so early, how about we tell some horror stories next? Kaidan demo suru? Oh, no, I'm not scared. And data next. Okay, cool. Hmm. Come on. Palmon slept so well, Mon and the others seem to be up already. Let's just see what they're up to. Okay, cool. Like Kakeoze. Hmm. Truth of the mysteri mysterious elements. Truth. Go to Milani and the others are. You're following the mysterious elements location. Whether or not you'll be able to finish your journey as you desire remains to be seen. Hmm. Yep. So we got the big old whirlpool over there. Cool. Come on. Thank you. All right. Moani? There's some time, I was about to go look for you. Well, though, you already caused the whirlpools to reappear again. That's convenient. We're in luck, the book is no was recharged by Dawn. I had current for object control the notes this time, and we were able to quickly unlock the mechanism. Now we're going. Now we're peace. We're practicing all morning so we can get the hang of controlling them. And Heishu? Oh, it seems after apologizing, you've already become trusted members of the team. It's not really the time to be teasing us, don't forget that the whirlpool is not last all day. He's right, we really should hurry over the massive whirlpool again. Even though we had a discussion yesterday, I still want to double check. You all trust me, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, believe in me. What's your on that? Okay, then let's go. Enter the giant whirlpool. Alright, then. Let's go in. And domain. Presumably. What is this going to look like? Mm. I'm on accidentally swallowed some water, so scary. Huh, what is this place? Can't believe it, there's subterranean caverns under the water. Moani was right. Let's see where this cave leads. Come with me. Continue onward. And this is where we are. Seem to be. Maybe that's where we came in from then. Hmm. Interesting that it was dry air then. Trial Milani. Best again. Guess that's kind of guiding me according to the map. We need to head downward. Okay, don't be afraid, everyone. Jump down with me. Yes. Yes. Fully fly with me. Okay. Got a bit of focus and be like, oh, lava cave. That's fun. That would be death. Or void out. Magomaka? Is that lava up ahead? Appears these caves were formed by volcanic activity. Pretty close to those lava tunnels, actually. See, then the spirit waves were affecting the lava deep underground. <laughs> <clears throat> Altering the lava's flow created temporary holes which allowed us to follow the water's current and enter this underground space. This can all be explained in theory now. Hmm. Are all solar systems here like this? Hard to say. But can there be an island in this kind of underground space? It appears we haven't reached our destination yet. Let's keep going, everyone. Investigate the vicinity. Yep, fights. That's what I thought. Okay, Kasukusuriya. Sako. And, ooh, okay. Good stuff. Fight, and, mmm. Need to go for the big one, and 
Okay. Actually, Milani does not particularly need. Go. Bye. And is that it? For now, yeah. Cool. Another crystal. Get a chest. And. Oops. Yep. It's interesting that they have that. It's probably the closest thing to sheer heat. But maybe, honestly, we might get sheer heat with the volcano itself. Maybe. Probably not. Can I glide over? Well, they don't have gliders. Something is glowing. Huh. Interesting. Oh, what's that light? I don't know if you can remember. Let's keep going, we'll be able to see more clearly up ahead. Moko Hakiri Mieta? Oh, uh oh. Watch your step, follow closely. Everyone, Shikari Sitekite. Luckily, Abunai, I'm going to still watch out for falling rocks. Nikashi Nade. Nikio Tsukete. Got a chest. Oh, hello there. And let's fight. There we go. Cool. That actually got rid of their aura, too. Nice. Hmm. Another chest down there. Door of Resurrection activated. Nothing's ever really hidden in here. Which is nice. Nothing over there. Okay. Epic full guest in a moment. Who's gonna be over here? Oh, it just opens up if you come over. That's nice of them. Okay. More kindling. More falling rocks. Over here now. That hit me. Was there a sort of shattering shrapnel hitbox? But I'm amazed there's lava everywhere. Which way are we supposed to go now? Let's look around together and see what we can find. Very well, it would indeed be useful to conduct environmental samples here. Investigate the vicinity is zero out of three. This is, is this a smell fruit? Probably, yeah. There are plants growing here. There's nothing unusual about this. It's a spinel fruit which often grows around places with the lava. Wait, it is a little strange. This is an ordinary spinel fruit. Same as one of this talisman. So, has the god actually been there? Kept it secret to not brag about it? Isn't that the talisman your teacher gave you? Yes, in which case, Gun Uncle knew I've been here before. But he clearly told me they never made it to the mysterious sound. Be sure to ask him about it once we get back. Hmm. Investigate. Got more lava over here. Seems like there's gonna be a fight. Probably the avatars of lava. So much lava, and it's getting pretty hot. Lava here doesn't look very stable. I'm afraid we can't stay here for long. Okay. And we're resurrection activated. Didn't go there, we'd probably have to hop back up the lava. Or they'd probably just skip it. Lava chamber? From here, the light seems to be getting brighter. Speaking of which, where is that light coming from? A distant light that seems to be a mark that matches that on the map. Oh, uh oh. This guy, it seems Roger has also discovered something. Wakata? Wakata zo. Got it, I've got it. Uh oh. Do you see that golden light in the distance? I'm positive that's the mysterious island. That's where we should go next. Volcano, really? I'm a scholar from the academia that spawned to Mount Dorshan. Elementalism, specialized in ores and minerals, so geo or maybe fine? I heard about the legend of the Sears Island, I took note of its description. One exaggerated description I heard is that was that it's an entire island that shines like gold. What it was actually referring to was an extremely rare mineral known as Vulcanite. There are certain environmental conditions, large amounts of lava are quickly cooled, which then results in this ore. 
As the ore can't be moved in time, you can see a key weight resulting in the award golden glow. If I'm not mistaken, there'll be a large pool of lava up ahead. Sue so will be floating on the lava in the entire island of Vulcanite ore. So you mean we really found a mysterious island? Rejoice, even a small piece of that ore will be priceless. Really? Then let's hurry. Soganeto? Hmm. Hey, Pama, we should head back now. Is it gonna blow up or. Oh, uh, why? What are you saying? This map is covered with symbols and riddles, but there's one thing that's written clearly. When you see the golden light, then go the opposite way. Burn away body and soul. What he said, just said maybe correct, but that golden voice isn't the island that my ancestors once visited. You're joking, Jodan Chanai. Can't be a joke. You expecting to turn back now? The one whose judgment has always been right. She says head back, then you should head back. He's gonna force us to go there by going in himself. Can't be fooled by the thought of treasure. Thought about for treasure. <laughs> He's acting weird again. You're gonna have to fight him. Or... After my previous findings were stolen, I began a new area of research, and this ore is the core. You can spell core without ore, my new research. As long as I can bring this ore back, my theories will be proven beyond any doubt. I will be able to reclaim everything I have lost. To me, this ore is the result and must be obtained. Otherwise, all those hardships on the way will be rendered completely meaningless. Don't you understand? As we agreed before, please trust my judgment. Why are you wary of me? Now we've confirmed that what your treasure really exists, you don't want outsiders to take it, do you? She's not my kind of person, Delandra. The result is right before my very eyes. I won't give up here. Hmm. And... He's gonna block off or something, right? No, he went running in. How could he do that? Uh-oh! Not good, we must stop him. Avatar's a lava? Is it just palm or is the ground shaking? Under that forgiston. It's rising! Oh, so it's been blocked off. Or... Uh-oh! Trap for the greedy. Monsters in the way? Where did these monsters come from? Monsters look like the lava here is becoming active here again. Okay. And we're on to it. Trap by the lava, hurry and take care of the monsters. And come on. Uh, Alright, there we are. Cool. That's there. Okay, we need to feed that Milani real quick. Little trial Milani. Okay. And it's all about you. Thanks. Bye. No, no. Mm -hmm. We need a bit more, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And two. Bye. And another one real quick. Bye. There we go. Cool. Sir Sounds true. Discuss countermeasures with Milani. Hmm. Well then. The lob is rising. Traveler Palma, please take care of Kari. I'll be right back. Oh, so presumably we're going to take direct control of Milani alone again. Another Milani obstacle course. That's fun. What are you doing, Milani? Oh, I can't see. You use my surfboard on lava for a short period of time. It will be a lot splicer than surfing on water. That's way too risky. Mori Pama knows she can do it. Okay, then we'll take care of things here. Yep, exactly. Rescue Varandra. How can I get Varandra to stop running off? Hello, don't worry, Milani. We'll take care of things here. Hmm. Okay, right over there. Direction activate and rescue Varandra. Catch up within the time limit. We're more unstable. We need a hurry. Go up there. Yeah, I can, but why would I? Okay, that's trapping. Ooh, big damage. Not good. We need to focus him. More falling rocks. Okay, watch this. And oh, we're on land now. That's fine. Okay. Normal gliding. And within the time limit. We need to keep going, going. 
And is this it or? Come on. Thanks. Damage not good. Over there, looks like I'm just in time. Got the Yokata. Is that a Vulcanite or? Let me see. It's like Bowser. Oh, oh, that's pretty. Oh. Who's got verification at least? Take a picture. It's right there, I'm almost there. Well, he can't close that distance, can he? Careful, he can't get through the lava and dive trying to make way forward. Don't just give up. Is it rising? It looks like it. No, not really. But don't I give up? Well, I might not be able to do it, but what about you? Me? You have the ability to move over the lava. If you try, maybe you can reach the island and earn the highest honor for regard. But it, that's of everyone else, doesn't it? The way you'll have the results you need to prove yourself, and even Koa won't be able to question your abilities anymore. It's not the point. You want to know why I don't give up, but I'm asking why you can give up such an opportunity. Kimina? The lava is rising if I take this risk and how the others get back. Did you forget? I already gave you my answer. You? Save him! Come with me. No. I want to use your surprising strength, Vision Wielder. Let's rocket Varandra onto her surfboard. Cutscene or what? They're back! We brought him back. He's fortunate that he wasn't seriously hurt. Even though Ine, that he moves well. Thank goodness. Thank you so much, Miss Guide. Kaido san. You're welcome. It's getting dangerous here, so we need to find a way out. Let me open that gun. I can... No, I refuse. I can still stand. Let me go back. Seriously, how can you be so childish at a time like this? Slap! Oh, yeah. And I'm just son. I'm not even a senior anymore. Whoa. Ouch. I've always believed that you're the most talented person I've ever met. Even if your research was stolen, you didn't get any credit, and I've ever doubted it. Even that even if you won't any, any results this time, you're still succeeding in your research. No one can take your talent away. Someone allow my dear senior to die here because of his stubbornness. Kariya? Finally opening up, and it seems like she's just the person we need to talk some sense into him. Why the lava's almost here? Now I gotta hitch a rider. Penny, it seems like the trick that Uncle New taught me is finally going to be put to use. Talisman? Or... A whistle? Kahosar? Yep. Where did all these kaholosaurus come from? Hop on. They're glowing, interestingly. No time to explain, just get on. I could not there. Gotta got it. Okay. Is there a cutscene? No. Do we get a cutscene? I'm on excellently choked on some water again while riding the kaholosaur. It's like going down the whirlpool. Everyone okay? Let's take a head count. One, two, three, four, five. Woo, we're all here. She needs some tea. You accept danger and made it back alive. That's what I call good luck. I think our fortune can only get better from now on. Oh, really? What's the point? We still didn't reach the mysterious islands. Hey, don't look so depressed. Let's scare our good luck away. Actually, according to the map, we still have one more leg of the journey. Oh? Oh, then which way should we go? Aren't we back where we started? Or the one in the sky? Or a cloud? Come on, let's go to the statue. Hmm. Assuming the island was of gold. Everyone arrives at the statue? They made that quick, thank you. Come on. So that's the point of coming back here again. Seems to be some hidden words on the statue that appeared after I touched it. Oh, my palm on dry. Probably won't work, will it? Or... Here's our cutscene. Congratulations, Guy from the future. You have a guy, though. Complete a challenge that even I found ambitious. Now I found the chance to tell you my story. Ah, oh, this guy. You may have heard legends describing me. It's the best guide in all of you. But in the beginning, I was more like a treasure hunter. I chased results. And that was dangerous to prove myself. 
Oh, Crystal. I'm not telling my venture, but other people didn't dare. I have a feeling to bring back rare treasures. My fame was sick in an but it was pointless. Yet I never felt satisfied. I found a new goal, a challenge that no one ever achieved before. Why did you join a mysterious island and have a chance to prove myself? Unfortunately, my friends who have traveled with me all this time have grown tired of my nonsense. Instead of praise, they have shouted with the words of caution. Perhaps this journey is one that I have to complete our own. No, luckily, they decided once again put up my antics, but they all died. Just as before, they came up with ingenious ways to help me move forward. They never let me down. Surfing? Oh, but he was surfing without a horse or any ability. He took a lot of courage. At the end, just as ever, found the result we came for. But, the golden glow is baiting me towards death. This treasure also a warning sign of impending corruption. If I press on, put my life on the line, I could get the result I wanted, and yet, chance I'd lose some even more precious. Oh, we got some belaying ropes. But don't worry, yet I made the same choice as you. Everyone was disappointed in the Monstrous Guide. I had the monster turned out to end it. Seeing everyone survive, I felt satisfied for the first time in my life. Hmm. Perhaps the treasure I'd really been searching for had been right here with me all along. So I decided to end my long journey and find a safe place for my sword and treasure. Hmm, there you go. For me, this is the real mysterious sound. So it was literally just home. Maybe the real mysterious sound was the tribe we built along the way. The inscriptions disappeared. I can just sense that that these must have been the words of first chief for those that would come after him. In that case, the mysterious island from the legends is actually where the people of the springs are living now. I remember now that the elders once told me our tribe was originally founded on a small island. Later, the coastlines changed, allowing the island to become what it is today. The journey to the mysterious island starts exactly where it ends, and just like him, we didn't return empty handed. I think I understand the choice he made now. The golden bow is an indicator of when the lava will periodically erupt. If that's the case, the principle of volcanic formation implies that it will only appear at the start of your slot activity. Flowing lava will quickly spill it and make it all disappear without a trace. This means that there's zero possibility of ever bringing the ore back. The results I've been chasing all this time are only an illusion that can be seen from far away. Yeah, I'm just senpai. Our journey is not yet over as we agree. Please come back to the people of the springs with me. We'll officially complete this journey. That's sort of reality. Fine, I suppose it would also count as some kind of result. Before we so done, I have a feeling the next answer I'm looking for will also be useful to you. Hamon remembers now there's still something important me to ask Moni's teacher about. Spinel stuff. Right. Tell me Moni to return the talisman. With Hmm. Let's go down here and just surf our way back. Yeah, okay, thanks. Uh, just like this. Cool. Here we are. Gotta dash again, though, after that spin. Okay. And here we are. Okay. New oji san we're back. Padaima, Amawani, it's good to see you again. I was new to return safe and sound. Uncle, I've completed the journey from the Sirius Island. I'm here to return the talisman. But you still have a question you must ask me, right? How do you get it? Yes, you've been there before, haven't you? Yes, I have. If that's the case, then you've gone on the same journey, but why didn't you tell anyone? Not prideful, because I made a choice. Choice? You notice that the hidden inscriptions on the stone tablet disappeared as soon as you finished reading them. Yeah, you're right. There's a special paint on the statue that would change color when it comes into contact with the volcanic dust. 
as on the Hongzhi. Only those who have been to the underground space by the PTM by the dust will be able to see the hidden message. Once the dust starts to wear off, the hidden inscription will disappear again. This is the choice of the first chief left to us. Keep it a secret, and we choose to boast about your deeds. We receive the highest honor, but the legend of the mysterious island will be destroyed as well. Choose your own self, and the mysterious island will remain a legend, and you to attract the next generation of young gods to rise to the challenge. The end, like companions, and I all chose the latter. Oh, I get it now. But not being able to tell anyone after accomplishing such a feat, well, like Koa will still down and are really okay with that. Screw that guy. And if you notice that Koa, who claims to have been to the island, hasn't actually completed the trip. So he doesn't know that this is the island. And what? What? He doesn't trust anyone. All alone. When Pong remembers that Koa said that he went to the mysterious island alone, there's no way he could be able to use the spirit ways. He told really recommend the clan to find Malani. Probably oh, because he thought she wouldn't be able to reach the mysterious island, that way Malani wouldn't be able to expose him. As guides, we are not adventurers, let alone treasure hunters. The greatest responsibility of a guide is to take the client to their destination in the But in the process, we also gain both skill and experience in overcoming danger. So it's to go to places that no one else can reach and even find treasures that no one else can find. Many guides gradually lose sight of their true beliefs and intentions in the process and have become more koha. They have become more like thieves. Or share their side of wildlife regardless of the consequences. Rather than good guides, we turn around and save their Friends. This is why the first chief of the legend and Mac. To our younger generations, they take him to challenge, thereby teaching them everything he had learned. Aside from me, the other tribe members also traveled to the mysterious zone. Just like me, they understood the first chief's intentions. So they also made packs with companions, choosing to give up the results that would prove themselves, and give the younger generation the chance to continue the challenge. I'm giving up on the results. Sure, I've given up on nearly one result, I haven't given up on everything. Given her talent and qualifications, we like as well within her rights to choose the top rank god Kuma as her teacher. She chose me. I believe I was able to cultivate such an outstanding student and witness her completion of the legendary challenge, especially because I didn't become a son like Koa. If instead of looking at one single journey, you look at my entire career as a guy, so I have not returned empty handed, what about you? <clears throat> Karya, come up with a new research topic. Would you like to continue working as my assistant? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. You're the same as always, Aramja. Always have to find evidence before coming to a conclusion. Alright. In any case, I can't give you an answer right now. Oh uh, yeah? Because you haven't prepared the proposal yet, shouldn't you finish that first before recruiting assistance? How could you forget? Proposal? And yes, of course, I'll start to prepare all the necessary details. But I've always found your proposals fascinating, so I'm sure I won't be able to turn you out this time either. Phew. Okay. <laughs> Karya, given I've been presented with new evidence, I've come up with a jury general theory. I can use the ideas from the chief's speech to express it. It's the treasure I'm seeking has been by my side in the entire town. You know, to be more precise, it's been with me even before I set out on this journey. Understand, Viranja? Here's this guest has also found his answer. Seems he finally put two and two together. There's nothing to worry about. Just like Kalia said, I can start some new research and reclaim everything I've lost. Seems he's still as stubborn as before. Now it's your turn to make the choice, Malani. But Uncle Nu, I'm sure that anyone can complete the journey to the island and make the same choice, right? So it keeps going, but it's muted. <laughs> So they say, if you go, then there's nothing more I can teach you, you take this talisman again. Pass it on to your student in the future. Hmm. Alright. Looks like it's also our time to say goodbye, you're taking great care of us on our journey. So thanks, I'm also willing to take the journey as a Okay, great job. And remember, the next time we come to visit the people of the springs, you know where to find friends for help. Friends, I suppose. We are theoretically friends now. Yes, when I publish my next paper, I should add you to my list of acknowledgments. <coughs> Special thanks, so. Oh, that's one way to thank someone. 
And the Rondra and I will be taking our leave. Surely hope we'll get to see you all again someday. That's it, it's good. I got the emails. Okay, goodbye. Bye bye. And Skoa. Uh oh. <clears throat> You're back already? So, as a new student, do you manage to find the mysterious zone? Oh, what are you doing here all of a sudden? You must be nervous. He wants to know if she made it. Well, I found something even more precious than the island. Two friends that I can trust with my life. Aww. You hmm, seems like you've really learned a lot from you about how to make yourself feel better. Do it, how could anyone ever reach the island with so many hindrances? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, are you all looking at me like that? The elders in the trap also gave me that same look. What's that supposed to mean? You have already proven that I'm stronger than you. I've been to even more dangerous places and had far more precious treasures. It's not I've even been to the mysterious island. Why do you still look at me as if my words don't bother you at all? Even if you had never been to the island, no one deny your abilities. But as for what we would deny about you, only you can find the answer to that. Me? Mm, ore wa? Ore. So now our trip to the Mr. Asylum is officially finished, right? It's time to say goodbye. Yeah, but I have one more place I want to show you. Come with me. Sayonara my niece. And that's... Take a commemorative photo. Why don't you just quite a sense of ceremony? Sure she'll give you something as memento as a guest to not keep her waiting. That's... across the water. Okay. Cool. And go over and it's over there. Right, okay. And a camera next to Milani herself. Okay. Charge that up. Okay. Hello. <clears throat> and we got the big ones in the background too. This is the place, from what I've heard, if you take a group photo here, it'll bring us good luck, I'm sure of it. What made you think of taking a group photo? I hope we can put our trip and Mr. Sound together. Of course, we need a memento to keep. Oh, you've earned the greatest honor for a guide. But you can only walk away with a photo of your friends, your pretty amazing Milani. No sacrifice I bought for your drive. What do you call it a sacrifice? I don't really think so. Actually, after hearing Uncle Lou's answer, I have this vague feeling that. After all that we've been through together, the results don't matter anymore. It's kind of hard to explain. I don't know if you get me or not. Wakaryo? No, I get it. Why don't we dialogue? You recall everything that has happened during your journey. If I don't find an answer that you're satisfied with. Habibito? That's your answer, huh? To the meaning of a journey. The answer I knew from the very beginning. Or should come understand over time. It's a good one. That means to make this group photo yet another part of your journey. Yep, I'm almost ready. Jimmy's a puzzle. Kohaliyo. Sandiki. Three Kohosaurs. Cute. And. Journey to the Mysterious Island quest completed. To be continued. Not really. Marifoma of you and Milani. It's close to the edge and oh we got ah, another cornerstone of stars and flames from that. Hmm. Interesting then. So how many are there going to be in total then? The memento that you took together captures the moment after you and Milani completed the journey of the mysterious island with each other's help. Photo of you and Milani. Cute. Okay. So we got another one of those. Huh. Blazing Flint or exactly six. But how many cornerstones of stars and flames? Well, actually, maybe there will be more than... Six. You can kind of pick and choose which ones you want to do to level up Pyro Traveler then. Maybe. I don't know. Hello. I wonder when the next journey will begin. Hey, you can see. Masters of the Nightwind's volcano over there. So in that case, well, we could collect our rewards real quick. 
Said I can't do any of those yet. So all of those ones there, but the other quests nearby doesn't count for it? Weird. Searching the Mysterious Island, the Legend of the Mysterious Island, and Journey to the Mysterious Island, and there we go, level two. Okay. 700 and Hot Spring O'Clock. Huh. Divine Army, bathed by a hidden sun, Shablanki's forces advance with unstoppable momentum. Brings all at war to the world once more, but his goals don't stop there. Huh. Gonna be cool once that's completed. It's a very cool way to do this. So in the end, we'll get 400 in that alone. Should sort of let that sit then, probably. Huh. Tibia cock lies, but the refresh. Still can't do that yet. This number of supply notices, candle cap mushroom. And Chronicles. In the end, you and Monty complete your trip to Mysterious Island together, but having word the full truth, two of you decide to relinquish the honor that could have been yours, and for no other reason than the desire that others too might have the chance to make this journey in the future. You brought back no treasures and the memories you came in with were more precious still. What was the meaning of this journey? Maybe it was a commemorative picture that Monty gave you. The realization of the answer that was long and buried in your heart, or maybe just maybe it was both. You should let Miss Met to embark on the journey there, legend. Those dwellings, that one was tiny. That took a while, frankly. Huh. So, can just claim all those. Nice. Good stuff! And now we've got enough for that. Hmm. And. Maybe five more? Enough of those now. Milani needs. Eh, uh, just a few more, then. We'd go fight off a couple, I think. Just around here. Maybe. More marks of the Binding Blessing. There's no way that letter gets to 60 or so. Yeah. Okay, cool. Put this down here. I don't know if you're petty. Okay, cool. And... Okay, cool. Okay, cool. And keep on burgeoning these. Jump. Two, three, four, five, six. Boom, centers, wooden whistle, whatever. Okay, cool. And, and a metal whistle. Trying uh, to hit a couple more, but it's going to be leveling Melanie a little bit more, and then I could run. He needs talent one more time. That is right. Let's see how many we can pick up from this. Also need more hydro gemstones. 18 sure. I'm not sure. I don't think I have any of the top rarity yet. So. Yep. That's what we'll need. Then we'll try to craft a few more. Bonus production. Decent amount there. And. Ooh, nice. And we have enough, yeah. And finally get Milani to level 90. Ooh, bonus. Okay. So then, I'll send you. Thank you. A little bit more quiver. Always. Thank you for my customers. Bye bye. Our travel doesn't end. Hmm. Well, that... Skip that, okay. Let's see. Ravuika. Respected figure. Just erase. Erase tell you once you beat me. Just what I needed. Keep him going. Strength is on the rise. What do you have beat your volleyball? Won't hold back. Ah, so it's less water wounds and more exploding volleyballs then? Okay, Dave, just know it. In the current, there's massive waves that bailed on last time. No time to lose in the challenge. Safety of the two groups, all my cons from more dangerous places. Swears there's no choice but face danger head on. To join on your journey, look together, nothing we can't overcome. Ah. Anything? 
Okay, nothing we can't do. Okay. Cool. So, it's 90 now. Cool. I could level up Kachina. I need stuff for Kinich and I'm gonna do Magirum Theater and that might mean Candace. But we're chilling. Hmm. So we'll run that one more quick time and well, she's got more HP now. That's good. 41526. Decent amount more. Okay. Teachings of Kindling. Hmm. We will go for it. Kindle, yeah. Use the silly team. Yeah, now that Milani works. We're chillin'. Right, crit damage boost from that. Didn't even really pay attention to the boost then. Okay, cool. And you're there. And oh, Emily is not there. Oh, come on. Come on, you. And that was legitimately incredibly stupid. Whatever. Okay, and here we are. And oh my. Whatever. Two, three. Boy, and. Well, whatever. Uh, uh, yeah, it. I'm having some trouble here then. And. Shark, surfboard, and. Right. For another crit, and. Fail the crit, and. I think the missile might have did it. Did it, did it hit with a missile? Well, whatever. Cool. So, yeah, we're chilling. Ooh, good. Mm -hmm. We're getting close to what we need for him. 666 is decent for now. Especially since they use Arlequino mats. Okay. It's time to go to their plants. Could also make some furniture. More things to pick up. Queen of the Barrett's Gills, Rope Chrysanthemum. And we need to pick that up. Okay. And the Glaive. Thank you. Thank you. And Spray Feather Gill. Lots of those. Presumably somebody will need them again eventually. Maybe. At least I can use them for commissions. I mean, supply requests. Quite up a berries. We'll go for second ones. King H is going to need those. Get a few more this way, which would be nice. Okay. Cool. Collect this. Alright. Make some stuff, do a few TCG games, and we'll be chill. Realm, Jeepo, Great furnishing. So, the not one one's at the bottom. That needs a new kind of wood. White chestnut oak. Hmm. Sil Savvy 101. Wait. Huh? Where'd I get that? Simply a drill, multifunctional cart, metal rainies, ventilation ducts, experimental vehicle modified by Matsit merchants based on years of trading experience, primarily used for selling alchemical potions. To the active nature of some alchemical potions, which are prone to failure during long distance transport due to heat and humidity or severe jolting, merchants devise an improved method to transform the vehicle's real chimney into a ventilation chamber to address storage conditions. However, a perfect solution may get potion failure from jostling. It's not even found that this type of vehicle serves a long journey had widespread adoption. Writing the Inferno, a futuristic model of a soundboard. Decorated with power, patterns and style that children echoes, it's identical to those in Sage Tepetal soundboards. It's said that skilled DJs can now mix music and coordinate the actual needs of the live scene, but also heat up the atmosphere of the stage for the control and modification of stage props. Sometimes it's heated up can be quite literally physical, such as making the stage spew out flames. Okay. Let's make some of these. Make some wood. Okay. Flammabomb wood. And any of those we can make now, or just, just that. Okay. 
Tekamicon Dance Off. When the stage is explicitly decorated, bring with energy insects and irresistible urge to complete and dance the when steps upon it. Scale replica stage to petal. Said that apart from its magical fire spouting future and the most communicable characteristic, stage to petal is its layer of exceptional sturdy protection with the stage for improves even a drill bits to prevent collapse. In addition to its protective layer, it seems to be related to an incident where a visitor participating in the drill bit dance and dance off. What if we brought a drill? Okay. More of that wood, which is probably going to be from around Toyok, maybe. Cool. We will do our couple of TCG matches for the week, then. We'll be chilling. Fun stuff. Also have Forge Realm's Temper. Huh. Oh, Card Shop's Commodities. Buy some cards. Fontamere Water Waterblades. Chromatic Hunter's Ray, Artful Grapple. Kahola's or Spirit Way. Trigger a Summon. Techniques are interesting. Stain of Sacred Flame and Atea. Edict of Absolution and Screen Dining Buddies. Hmm. Techniques spend one less. Oh, that's. What's up with her? Memories of a Hybrid Hilltrail Rod. With Admiration Watcher. Lonely Figures. And. Achieve Victory anytime. One card you draw, one damage, next time they deal damage. So that's... You're supposed to use Fremony for that. Hmm. And the first round roll went with a Dazzle. I... Oh, they added Idle Ones. Hydro. You're seeing damage. All... Oh. Does not exceed. Hmm. Tainted Waters change their shape. Sort of smacking versus shooting, I guess. A nice ring of destruction, you win. End phase will be reduced. Next time it occurs, just time they take damage. Aww. Oh. It's all about surviving and doing lots of hits. Now, the use picks dex, dex and elemental dice. Piercing damage, rushing ice flow, and piercing damage. All opponents feel the defeat and lose the match. Oh, so it's a single puzzle. Interesting damage to all characters and... Ooh, that's really, really strange. Huh. And it's just this. It's probably a single solution then. Huh. Well, we got this done real quick, hopefully. Play against each other. Okay, my deck. My back. Okay. Got some time for that. So we'll just do this week's TCG stuff first. Well, these are okay, actually. Hmm. But... Hmm. I don't know. Who do I want to try to put on? That? Interesting. Armored Crab Carapace. It's got to go on Chivaros. Huh. Well, we'll see what happens. Some things around, get some overload started, presumably. Hmm. None of those really suit my purposes. That's sad. So. Play that on. Shabby. Put that down. And. Go over here. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh, but you want to end on a horse. Yeah. Well, okay. It's fizz damage. Okay. Okay, then. It's removed. Active character. Well. No, we should keep going here. Should stay here. Keep that guy. Don't need that many dice to do this, I don't imagine. Hopefully. Well, huh. What to think about? Okay, that. Ah. Stupid. So, in that case. Yes, I'll put this on you. Sure. 
Oh, we could play this. Put that down there. Play that. And big power damage. Cool. Okay. A force coordination. Interesting. Oh, well. Oh, and that's gone gone. Not good. Huh. Not a lot of those, though, so... Huh. Guess I could do one hit. Sure. Okay. The pearl's gonna be gone after this, though, is the thing. Hmm. Well, whatever. I'll live. I'll negate the damage from the summon. Probably not from the reaction, though. Oh, but that will break it. That will break it, though. Hmm. Well, we can regenerate the pearl. Partly. So. Hmm. Come on. I'll tell Spore Cloud. Hmm. That down, sure. And. Ooh. That. Your active character triggers. Interesting. Which means. Ooh, that would kill me, though. We should use this now. Okay. The one usages. Uh, is it going to count as, then? Use this. Okay. Okay, one damage. Cool. Quick little tap for some application. One damage there. That's gone now. So play that and blast them. Cool. Resident coral orbs there. Cool. Go force coordination. Mm -mm. Probably switch out just so it doesn't die. Okay. Oh well, that might not have been the right choice. Maybe. Okay. And thank you. Get that on you, and we can just spam other stuff. Okay. Pyro. Pyro. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Tell Spore Cloud and. No, mm -hmm. oh, but we should get a little bit more back, maybe. Maybe. Sure, Kujo, I can go down here. That was probably unwise, though. Okay, cool. Buster Blaze. Jessic Dance. Okay. Let's switch one of those out. Put that down. Cool. Pair that. Oh, Chevy's got a burst up, though. Didn't even think about that. Okay. And. Okay. I guess. Yeah, that was mediocre. Okay. Well, that'll kill the funny seahorse, but there we go, I guess. Cool. Hmm. Back over here and we'll just kill with a bullet. Okay. Next turn. really is jam-packed. You know, I like that they add a lot of stuff like Samaru's first patch, and I think it was a good idea that we're not getting a new, for them to not actually make a new region next patch. There's more time for that to just sit. But not one start still has the scale it needs. It's good as Fontaine was, it still felt a little constrained. Cool. Boom. Okay. <clears throat> Eventually I'll be able to stop using these characters too. Keep saying that. Okay. My roof. What about my floor? Okay. GCG. Yeah. This team definitely is a bit on the slower side. That's fine. Mm -hmm. In that case, we could use that to actually force a switch back, which is interesting. 
All right. By proccing a pyro. Oh. Application of myself. Much to think about. Huh. Huh. Okay. Well. A number of things I could do here, actually. Put that on you. And. Put that down. Send Shikaku down. And. Sufficient dice. Well, whatever. We'll let that go. Okay. And just sit down here and take the hits. Okay. Ah, there we have that. Already drew the extra card when we click and round, right? Draw one card. Okay. Nice mm -hmm. Okay. Then we'll get one of the summon damages for free. Well, this didn't use anything too worrying. Okay. Cool. Hmm. In that case, then, probably start off with the pearl. If at all possible. Then probably put in Sara. Or some. Put in the crab against Sara. Nice die. Put that there. I should use this. That's right. Or whatever. Come on. Come on. Overloaded reaction damage. Mm. Okay. Ooh, there we are. Nice. <clears throat> Switch now and see what happens. Wait. Oh, okay, well. Maybe I don't like that. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I... Ooh. Hmm. And go its tactics. And sure, we'll put that down. And that did not end things for me. I guess we'll stay on Chevy. This is tough. Legitimately. Get rid of that, I guess. That's sad. And just punch. Okay. Hmm. Luckily, there's a limit to what you can do, but... Still. Well, okay. Sadly, nothing I can do with that right now. Okay. Cool. Summons, that works. Should have seen Sealy. Yeah, I should have used that earlier. That's life. Ooh, now we got Vanarana. Mm, probably a bad choice to end on. The horse. Oh well. Okay. Get more of that. Build up power faster. Ouch. That hurt. Okay. Can put those down. That down. Okay. Mm. It's full now. Is the thing. Okay. Interesting. Actually, just switch right there. And, well, that'll give me cards, but I'm stuck here and now I'm dead. Oh, and also, this guy's dead no matter what because of the lack of healing. Oh, okay. Cool. So, we're chilling. Well, well, at least the application didn't function. No Electro now. That worries me. Okay. We'll see who switches to what. We can, we can bring this home. If all spells the crab will make things cry. Believe in crab. Okay. Come on. Rock, paper, scissors combo. Well, we stay here, actually. We can make that work, maybe, hopefully. Let's put things like these down now. Healing would be a good idea. Hmm. Well, hmm. I guess I can just smack. 
couple of times. Okay. Here. Scissors. Okay. And one more hit, I guess. Mm. And we could peel the crab up a tiny bit. Okay. Fair enough. That's how it's going to be. And, oh. Okay. Huh. Who's next? Oh. Oh. Okay. Awesome. Well, got lots of shielding. This, I'm not sure they can touch me at this point. You get... You get tenacity on here and just let it sit and become a wind gun. That's fun. Well, that was stupid, stupid. Okay. Huh. Well, we can go there. And I suppose we can do a snack. Hmm. Well, some of these are useful. Some. Searing precept. Okay. And that means blast. Okay. Good damage. Good damage. Okay. Jasara. Oh, well. Guess who's dead? You. Ten damage. Okay. Well, there we go. Didn't think you'd do it like that. That's fine. Play that and get a few more stacks. Okay. Cool. Nice. Seven. Why did that deal more damage? Whatever. And that's the end of that turn. Cool. Keep spamming battle line detonation, I guess. Oh, okay. That's frightening. I don't like that. Oh. Okay. Huh. Yeah, that does not make me happy. Luckily, should be less damage than an overload would be. Maybe. Nothing to do but this. Okay. <laughs> there we are. Get a bit more durability, because we can do that. Thank you. Good. Huh. Okay. Red crab carapace. It's removed. It's per round. Well, okay. And here we are. Plus one for every two stacks. How much can you do to me? What are you gonna do? Yeah, that won't save you now. You're dead. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, I guess not. Okay. Huh. Well, that means one quick smack. You're dead. Okay. So, a couple more and we'll be chilling. Read happiness, yeah. And what is? The reason I haven't gotten all that. Hmm. Dishes, items, furnishings, eh, I don't... We got boosted a good deal by this. We'll be okay. Well, I could cook some dishes and forge some items. That's true. Eh. Yep. Eh. Another way of on and do Luke. Wait, TCG. Should be fine. An overload in there. Much to think about. Hmm. Well, might not be the way. Yeah, it might have been better to put Chevy in. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, some characters are a little more 
expendable than others right now, let's say. Okay. That. Actually, play that. Let's ensure the kill. Alright. And hit. Cool. Fine. It's that on me, but the fire won't hurt me all that much. Okay. Hmm. Well, alright. Switch over. Okay. Fine by me. And your run will get a little bit and ending on you. This will exist to get more cards and tank. Summon hits. It's a cool niche to have. Okay. That the booster uses a little, increase our durability. But I'm sure there's a more strategic way to use that. Alright, hit and run. Toss that down. Thank you. It's the pearl, boost the pearl up and maximum. Whatever. Use that again. Okay. Yeah. Just like that. Take you down and. The funny stuff is now gone. Okay. Prayer to... Oh, well. Okay. Now we've all got that on us. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well. I don't know now. Could put that on Chevy. Just to have it. And... I don't know. That would get some damage. We are losing a die, though, which is sad. Hmm. Use that coral orb. Okay. Cool. This one is going decently, especially in comparison. I have to worry about getting down to the last dude. Hmm. Oh, it's coordinated tactics. Well, put this one down. Then you'll use something and then we can switch. Okay. Also, this would also do well. So hop out of the healing. Hmm. Okay. Take overloaded reaction damage, but that's not what's gonna happen, right? Or for that? Hmm. Interesting. Next instances will deal more. That would actually guarantee a kill on both. Yep, exactly. Use the over overcharged ball. Blast we'll the next one in line two. Gives me another one and discards one to go for an immediate second hit. Cool. He'll try something, won't do much. Okay. Gotta love it. We can actually use Shabrose's Burst to finish off things next round, too. Okay. Ooh. Uh -oh. That count as... Summon damage? Wasn't checking the number. Whatever. Okay, cool. Chevy Burst. It's a fun one. It was more of a single grenade than the ring. Okay. Well, the ring detonates when he switched, so. Didn't expect to be so good at playing guards. Well, you know. Hmm. Let's go for the commodities real quick. Not that yet. Rotation wetter, we got. Zero right now, we need a few more. Oh, we only needed two. Well, more will come eventually. I'll live. Contending fire skill or technique. Random basic elemental die, contending fire. Heals, discards, plus one damage for two rounds. It's an interesting idea. Can't, don't know if it'd be all that good. Hmm. Okay then. Last match against D Luke. 
Bit you on. Erza on you. Erza? Play TCG, Falling Flame. Full times within a single round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, let's make this happen. Good options, good options. Okay. Maybe let's start with D look, I presume. Okay. Put that on you. Hmm. Hmm. Someone's gonna need a tank. Maybe. Okay. Let's start with you in the tank. With a switch. Some. That? Mmm, we need Pyro though. But leaving that Geo on is probably a good idea. Come on, give me Pyro. That worked well enough. Okay. That's a pretty good starting set. Okay. Down on you. Tenchu Kaku. That there. And that on you, and now we switch to Shabby. Let her take a couple hits. You try to get an overload or something? Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Come on, come on. Such a razor. Okay, but. Gonna have to go for another fizz hit, presumably, next. If we're gonna do anything. Yeah, that was simple. Okay. Phase. Coordinated tactics could be interesting, maybe? Maybe. Really mostly about just powering up. That guy. Okay. Go to coordinated tactics. Cool. Then. Let's we deal a hit. And then switch to. The seahorse. And end with the seahorse. Maybe. Okay, cool. Youch! Alright. Now we can use one to get a pearl back. Oh, do you look now? That. Yeah, this. The AI is not going to win. That's fine. Fair enough. Suing Onslaught. Yeah, whatever. Okay, get a few more cards. Thank you. Might put that down next round, maybe? Maybe. Hmm. Like Buster Blaze could be a good option, maybe. Depends on who want I get in, who I want to get in and who I'm going to sack. Hmm. Okay. Got that. Got this. Hmm. I need tactics is good, but that is the question. Who am I willing to put in? Gonna switch again or try to hit or hmm. taking damage here might be annoying. Well, that wasn't a normal. Okay. Hmm. Put this down, sure. Just play this a couple of times. Sure. That takes you away. So what's next? Vertical force coordination. Ooh, nice. Okay. That ending on. Yeah. I think on the seahorse is a good idea. If you're active characters, the seahorse. I. Hmm. Again, much to think about. Honest to goodness, we can put it on the seahorse. But other than that... Hmm. One of those is going to go to waste otherwise. This is the thing. To raise her... Okay, well... Okay. No matter what I do, I'm in for a world of pain. Okay. Alright. 
No, let's actually put down another Tenshukaku. Go first the next round, and you're gonna try to hit once. That's for sure. And that's a dead Chevy. Okay. Uh-uh. Well, actually, you can just get one damage from there, and... Well, that was a bad idea. <laughs> that popped that thing. Now it is actually zero worth now. Okay. Hmm. Luckily, we can continue some of our efforts, but... It's gonna suck. Okay. Cool, I suppose. You've got some bulk. That's good. Mm -hmm. Suppose we could put this on. No real reason. Well, uh, that gave those shield points to them, which. Ooh, we may be in a bad position now. Maybe. Or, or not. Opportunity has struck. So, some of the coral ore for a bit of off field stuff. Keep those overloads going for disruption. Things I can throw away, which is nice, I suppose. Okay. So here we are. Is this them? Presumably. Okay. Put that down. It's not exactly perfect. It's that that no longer does anything for me. Okay. Cool. Keep that going. And we're chilling. Okay. More damage for every stack I've got. Hmm. Well. Okay. Vana Rana would be nice here. So long we can keep going like this. Make sure Razor does not do too much. Okay. Two piercing damage to all standby characters, so. Switch to Zhang Wing, I could get a very nice kill. We'll see. None of that needed, none of that needed. Come on, well, okay. Huh. Well, I... Oh, and none of those propped, because we only had four. It's actually profoundly stupid. Okay. Well, we tried. Could have been a lot more dice. Well, two more. Go ahead, switch to Zhongling. Well, okay. Ooh, eight. Wow. Oh yeah, that's just eight. Plainly. Okay. Huh. Without any reservation. We seven. Okay, good. So, we finish up one last hit. That'll kill. It. Crap's fun. Takes forever. <laughs> but it's fun. Anything that lets you snowball is fun. Okay. So those are our matches for the week, so we can quickly forge some stuff, cook some stuff. Yeah. Okay. That'll be all then. Not one stuff is very inconveniently placed. That's a certainty. Gotta make... What am I willing to part with? 10... 30 minutes? Whatever. Make... 16, yeah. Let's to get that through. That'll pass up and we can... Cook a little bit more. Sure. Oh, a cup of grain fruit. Made from grain fruit. Oh, it uses amber core flowers. Core flower nectar. Interesting. Hot spring. Oh, clock. Oh, and it's there. What a surprise from the people of the springs. A pizza. Wait, why is that in a different 
position then. That. Oh, they're organized by effect now. Okay. Now I see. It's kind of messed up. Hmm. Oh, sort of by incomplete proficiency. There we go. Now we see. Now we, now we know. Need more bamboo, that's stupid. Okay, ego, plentiful moon, yada yada. Just a delicacy, who makes? It's nobody's specialty. Okay. Tea pastry containing egg yolk, loose delicate texture, grainy egg yolk, mingles with faint fragrance of tea, one small mouthful of earthly happiness. Have to make you swoon, pops up mouth at once, but beside any single crone from the corner of your lips. Egg yolk, salty yolk, steam stuff, tea powder, infused stone, shape of full moon, full being baked, crispy full egg exterior, salty sweet interior. Different layers forming a delicious and addictive delicacy. Egg, flour, tea, and sugar. Okay. Huh. Cup of grain fruit requiring ember or flowers is actually kind of foggy. Still don't need much proficiency for that. Is that res food? I don't know. I wonder what I mean, not one character's specialties are going to be then. I've tended to... Oh, well, also sell more stuff in Mons down now. That's right. There's a neat NATO and something else. Okay. Oh, whatever. I'll live. Okay. Come on, come on. Mm. Mm. Try. Try. Okay, so go buy those new recipes, I suppose. Forging should more or less be done. And, yep, meat nodo and apple roly poly. Huh. That'd be an apple turnover, presumably. Meat nado. Ha. Huh. Meat dish slices. Oh, they're meat rolls. I've seen these. Apple roly poly. Petrified tree wayline outcrop. Oh, that's actually really, really cool. It's an opponent. Oh, interesting. Chess. Oh, that? Yeah, that's actually incredible. I should use that. That's actually amazing for running domains. Wow. Traditional apple dessert. Secret to its crispy and delicious flavor it lies in the thin pastry crust. Apparently, the best pastry chef in Monsanto just had to be capable of making pastry so thin could carry on reading even if you place it over the page. Hmm. All right. Traditional apple dessert, mere aroma of the apples, gives off a feeling akin to situate in itself before a warm hearth. We can even think to slowly appreciate your hands move as if compelled by some other person, knife and fork until reaching out for the next piece. This? Yeah, because I had to check the patch notes because nothing really indicated that Nothing would indicate that there was just more stuff in Mondstadt now. Egg, no sugar, egg, flour, apple, and butter. Okay. Look that real quick, the forging stuff, and go back to not one, and that'll be it for today. Went a little longer. It's a fun story class. Okay. A little bit was left behind, which we want in furnishings would normally be what took me most of the way, I would say. It's because of uh, like the bounties, I think, honestly. Eh, yeah, whatever. I'll live. So, yeah, I'm gonna go back to Malvon and. Good for now. Swim companion, second best. Yeah, fine, on. So, that will be all for today, and yeah, Kirara is getting closer and closer to Shinsugo Sesson, 